Joe Biden's offering African Americans to pick cotton or cotton related activities for three hundred dollars an hour. Where do I sign up? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. What the fuck? Do you understand how much? Hold on, hold on, hold on. In one week, yep. right? In one week, I'm making nine thousand dollars. <laughs> if I work thirty hours, I work thirty-five hour weeks. But if I work thirty hours, I'm making nine thousand dollars. You work at nine. Now let's multiply that by four. Thirty-six thousand in one month. Let's multiply that by twelve. <laughs> I'm making half a million. I'm making four hundred and thirty-two thousand. All right, we mo- remove thirty thousand because taxes. <laughs> okay, he's giving me free bread. I will. I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. <laughs> Yo, I will pick cotton with my shirt off, <laughs> with no shoes on, and ripped shorts for three hundred dollars an hour. Are you kidding me? Yo, yo, yo! Welcome back to another episode of No Regrets Podcast, Episode One Hundred One, Season Two of the No Regrets Podcast. I'm your host D. A.K. Darius. I got my co-host with me, Tyrone, in the building. Say what's good to the people. Yes, sir. It was good. It's the top op in the building. You're the big now. op, big op. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir, big fan. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, like the video, share it. If you don't subscribe right now, your mother gonna die. Five seconds. You got five, four, three, two, one. Type shit. I hope you did that. That's you how niggas I- are coming, <laughs> Season Two. <laughs> <laughs> That's how niggas, are niggas be getting me all the time on YouTube, so now Yo. I'm gonna get niggas back, bro. This is called marketing. You just bro. killed mad niggas' moms, bro. <laughs> Yo, that's the thing. Yo, what? See, I'm feeling loose. We had a week off. It feels great. You know what I'm saying? Season one was good, all that stuff, all the growth. But season two, we got more stuff. We got more videos. We got no. We got more merch. We got more topics. We got more fun things to talk about. Blood. Type shit. This nigga got caught off guard with that. Yo, you see him? I'm subscribed already, cuz. So He's gone. dressed to impress. Yeah, bro. Season two, bro. That nigga that, got I a button for the season, bro. Yeah. You feel me? Like, I had the little watchy on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I had to get it all, all right. You know Type what I'm shit. You know, you know what my mom said? What's you kind of like disappointed everybody. Wait, what's Because you, you said you're going to be a you gonna be an op <laughs> nah, in this episode 100. Oh, I said that about episode 100? Yeah, by episode 100, you said you're going to be an op. That's what my mom remembered. Damn, I'm like, damn. I let niggas down. Yeah, you let niggas down. Why bro. she remembered? I don't know. Like, she damn. said that's what she remembered for episode 100, bro. It's on episode, is that why I'm here right now? Hey, bro. Damn. <laughs> Nigga is not an I'm op. I'm not going to lie to you. I will be an op by episode 206. 206? 206 for sure. So that's like another that's, that's, left, that's like two, That's like another two years. Yeah, it's two years. I, right? About two years. Because like next year is going to be like 150 something. Well, technically, I'm not an op, but like I'm a bigger op than I was. So I was an RA. Now I'm a GA for housing. So the RAs report to me. Oh. Feel me? So, so now technically, I really am the top. I'm, I've am i been the top op. But I'm saying now I really am the top op. Oh, and, feel me? okay. So you I know, te- like technicality. Improvement. It's all about improvement. That's, that's you know right. That's saying? right. That's yeah, right. That's right. Shit, for me, yeah. All right. All right. Exactly, exactly. But we got a good episode to talk to y'all today. So oh, let me break down my bed, bro. Oh, yeah. Tyrone so, um, brought another bed back, bro. If any of y'all remember if I did, y'all could clown me. But uh, I don't remember if I had this bed before. But it's called Lemon Perfect Hydrating Lemon Water. Dragon Fruit Mango is the flavor. That actually sounds not that bad. It doesn't sound bad, but it has zero sugar. Mm. So probably not. It's a hit or miss with that. You tell me, bro. Oh, that, that's not a good sign. You tell me, bro. It's Oh, that's not that's not it's bad. It's not bad, but it's like like it tastes like watered down vitamin water. Yeah. Like it's not bad. Like it's really like I I would drink that. Water down vitamin water. I would drink that. That's actually not that bad. Yeah, but you drink some weird shit. Wait, no, I don't. Well, you just it. indulge in weird. Foods <laughs> in general, like. I, don't, I don't indulge in. I, I indulge in healthy foods. You like pickles? No, nah, I don't like pickles. Oh, I, I was about to fry you. No, nah, I don't like pickles. That's I don't like pickles. What other shit? I would eat like nah for lunch today. I just had watermelon. Is that weird? That can't be just weird. the watermelon. Nah, just like cut up cubes of watermelon. No, like just that's it. Yeah. And then I had like a bagel, cream like no cheese. seeds, nothing, like just the watermelon. Yeah, I mean it's like a like for a seedless. Lunch. Yeah, for lunch. So that was the last thing you ate before you came to the crib. Not, yeah, and then me and Jay got poke bowls, poke bowls from yeah, Route Twenty Two. Come on, bro, you're a grown man. <laughs> that's the only thing you're eating, bro. You don't need to. All right, bro. Whatever makes you feel like you're not weird, bro. Mm. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. I like those. Those shits is busting. Yeah, yeah and those shits is rocking. Just could kill me. Why? Oh yeah. yeah, tree nuts. 
Do they really got tree nuts in it? There you go. Traces. You know what I'm saying? Made in the same factory and whatnot. Let me let me get some. You can draw? Yeah, draw yeah, nah, these these busting. These my shits, bro. It got contains, yeah. I mean it only contains milkweed, so are you straight? If I you couldn't find my Nutella. Oh, you couldn't find it? I was looking for that only, bro. Where'd you go? Krausers? No, I went to Quick Chat. Right oh, okay. Clear, bro. I about to say Krausers. I, I had it the other so day. so busting. Mm-hmm. Would you like any? I want. You're not suicidal? I don't know. <laughs> no. <laughs> You're busting. Yeah, but it was a tree nut, bro. Ah, wait. What? Oh, I, I thought my throat was starting to itch. I, go like, <laughs> I was like, no. <laughs> I was like, please. Nigga, I had a... I told you I was allergic to, um, like, plant-based shit. Like kale? No. <laughs> <laughs> you were, like, what? No, like, <laughs> like plant-based protein. Mm. Like, whatever's in there, I get, I'm allergic to it. Who think. had plant... Was it you with the plant-based protein? Was yeah, I'm Joel a, only has plant-based uh, protein. protein. Nigga, I'm going to die, bro. Wait, what happened? You started like going through anaphylaxis and shit? Bro, my throat started getting itchy. My eyes got itchy. What my, the? my nose got stuffy. And I couldn't breathe. I, I, the first time it happened, I got I was getting a haircut by Russ. And like, <laughs> literally, I was in the chair. He's like, yo, DJ, let me know if you like, you need to use it. Like, blow your nose. Cause I told him. I'm like, nah, I'm good. And like, I was in that bitch like, <sighs> I could not breathe, <laughs> bro. <laughs> I literally couldn't breathe. My eyes was itchy. That's my nose, funny. I was like, my nose was runny. I couldn't breathe through my nose. It was so like every time he told me to go like this, I couldn't breathe. I literally could die. Like I could suffocate him. And you just said, "Fuck it, cut me up." Yeah, I was like, "No, <laughs> I've been I've been waiting here for like an hour. I need a haircut." <laughs> Dice me, bro. I need that, bro. That shit was so bad. <laughs> no, you little D. <clears throat> I dropped my power. You about but, to die. But yeah, bro, that shit was so bad. And then like you know the um, the fresh coast we go to. Yeah. They I began protein in the shit. They but plant based. Yeah, but I was like, "Do you guys have whey protein?" They was like, "Um, our boss just buys whatever." I'm like, what the fuck does that mean? I'm like, nigga, what if I die? <laughs> I'm like, yo. He just buys the next thing on the shelf. Yeah, yeah, he's like, yo, this week is whey protein, next week's plant based. I'm like, nah, bro. Like, can you? I'm not. That's the, it's the nigga with the glasses that you was talking to about. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm about to be like, yo, can you get some whey protein, bro? I'm allergic. And what do you say? I didn't see him yet, but like when I do see well, him, tell him, I'm gonna tell that nigga. Yeah, you're like the number one customer, bro. Nah, I really am. Did you fill up another one of the cards or not? Mm-mm. I, I forgot them. Damn, I haven't been back there since. I ain't gonna lie, I haven't seen those cards since. And, oh, they, they got rid of them shit. Since you hit, <laughs> niggas got rid of them. We ain't giving no free shit, bro. <laughs> no Tuck more that shit away, God. Niggas, see, I was the first nigga to get some free shit, bro. But, oh, we're doing something new. Since the start of the NFL season, Tyrone got some picks and some hot takes he wants to tell y'all. He's been waiting for... No, it's not even hot. It's just fact. He's been waiting for, like, two weeks. Just fact, so, bro. I will let Ty go. So, right. hold on. Go ahead. Want me to ask you all the awards? Because I don't even know what the ask awards me, are. Yeah, you can ask me the awards first. Let me look it up. I got an iPad now, people. Actually, this is my parents' iPad. I just, <laughs> I've just i been at this, but they've been had this, but I just forgot, bro. <laughs> I've been on the freaking season. There's so much, like, there's so much better. Like, I can fucking move around and shit, nigga. I can <laughs> animate. I'm <laughs> animating now, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> all right, bro. Let's see. NFL season awards. All right. Who do you think will be... The most valuable player in the NFL next year. All right. So, first thing I'm going to say. Yeah. MVP is probably, if it's, it's probably going to be Patrick Mahomes. I'm not going to lie. All right. He's too nice. Like, now the league is going to neck him. We got two rings. You know what I'm saying? He really carries. But before we move on from MVP, it's going to be Patrick Mahomes. But. I want to talk about the top three quarterbacks. Oh, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. First, because... All right. Here we go. I'm going to break down to you. Top three, Patrick Mahomes, undeniable. You'd be a fool to even say anybody else. Patrick Mahomes. Joe Burrow? Joe Burrow. 100%. Joe Shiesty. I could give him that. That makes 100%. Yep. And now I'm going to say is Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson. Now... Oh, you forgot about Josh Allen. Yeah, what happened Josh to Josh Allen? Allen? Uh, what happened to Justin Herbert? Justin Herbert. And, uh, uh, fucking... uh, the guy who made it to the Super Bowl with the best team in the league, um, Jalen Hurts. Yeah. All right? All right. So let me break it down. <clears throat> Everybody who says Josh Allen is better than Lamar and and Jalen Hurts, and I respect Jalen Hurts and Josh Allen, but here's two things, right? Mm-hmm. Lamar Jackson wins more games. Like he just outright he went he has more wins right uh-huh. when he go he's been to the playoffs so he's had the last I'm saying the last three to four seasons right yeah the Bills have had a significantly better team they don't run the ball so you can't even talk about their running backs the Bills yeah they don't got but running backs 
when they do run it, the running back just get five yards. All right, now we're going to pass it again. Yeah. Defense, significantly better, right? Mm-hmm. This year, we got Rokon Smith. We got Mark Jones. We got some guys coming back. We got, some, we got a, a decent defense. But before that, significantly better team. Yeah. Then in primetime games, Lamar hangs in there mm-hmm. or wins. Feel me? He doesn't lose. And I'm saying in big time games against mm-hmm. good teams, Josh Allen loses or gets smacked. He doesn't against he, top against like top ten teams in the league. He does not even hang in there, right? I'm I'm a Josh Allen hater today. Oh, you're a Josh I, Allen. I'm okay, not. Okay, I'm okay. not going for the Josh. Allen. He did have a rough year though. I ain't gonna right, lie. He did rough have a rough year. year. His 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 whole freaking life is rough, bro. He's not <laughs> like he's selling. Like I'm saying, like, he's a good quarterback. Yeah. But now we talk about receivers, right? Mm-hmm. Lamar Jackson has had. Let me think of the good receivers. Besides Mark Andrews, his tight end. I was just gonna say him and who else? Who are we? Who, who can we? I'm trying to pick of the best per, the best person he's had. You Rashad freaking, Bateman. I that's like, a, who's a did a he even I, didn't that nigga get hurt? Rashad Bateman did get hurt. He, um, Devin Duvernay. Uh, um, what about? I mean, they trade that dude to the the who? Cardinals. Probably oh, Marquise they, Brown. Yeah, yeah, he led our division in drops. Oh, he so did? yeah, he got yeah he had a thousand yards because Lamar be slanging that thing. Mm-hmm. Feel me? Wow. But then they got rid of him. Pause. <laughs> and then, and then they got rid of him. But he did lead, lead our division in drops okay. because he drops he drops he drops passes. That's yeah, just on yeah. him, right? All right. Then on top of it, now he's in uh, that receiver. He's gone, right? Yeah. Besides that, we have no receivers. But Lamar, yeah, I drafted one. I forgot it was because we drafted one. Yes, and then we got Odell, who's everybody says wash. Uh, he might be Zay Flowers. Old. Zay Flowers. He's gonna be tough. But my point is, we don't we haven't had receivers. Lamar has still been consistently good at throwing the ball. Mm-hmm. Where people say, oh, Josh Allen's a way better passer. Lamar does the same thing. Mm-hmm. But with, with a worse team, Josh Allen has a better offensive line. Okay, feel me? Better receivers, all that stuff. But it's a Lamar hate. I'm not gonna lie. I think it's racist, personally. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna go there. I'm gonna go there. That's, I'm just gonna go there. Wait. I'm gonna say I think jo- they say Josh Allen's better. It's a little racist. Josh Allen has Stephon Diggs. He had uh, and Gabe Davis. Gabe Davis would be the wide receiver one on nah, every team would. Lamar's paid for. Yeah, every team Lamar's he paid for. Feel me? So that's the first thing I had to say. I had to get that off my chest because people gonna. Try and tell me Lamar not top three. Mm. I, if you want to say like, I can't even it's, maybe it's Aaron un- Rodgers. I, Aaron Rodgers, I respect it because he feel me. He has a good discography. But Lamar Jackson, bro, I'm not gonna lie. I can't take an argument from anybody. So else, it's undeniable. It's undeniably top three. He's top three. Top four. I can give it undeniable top four. You and can then, argue for him to like be top three, mm-hmm. and somebody could be like, nah, he's the fourth, but nowhere below that. Okay. You can't say Trevor Lawrence. That doesn't even make sense. You can't say Justin Herbert. Yeah, because he misses the playoffs too. Yeah. Lamar, he plays, and they're gonna say, "Oh, Lamar," but he gets injured too often. He got injured once, mm-hmm. right? And when he got hurt, he didn't come back because they weren't trying to pay him. So he was like, "Why would I?" Risk? I know he got his bread now. So yeah. He thinks why would I go off now? He got oh, the bread. What? Now he has no reason not to play. All right. He wants so, that ring. So now. Since you're talking about rings, right? I'm a, I got the schedule right here. Okay. So we're going to read it off. Win or loss for the Baltimore Ravens this year. All right? Yeah. Unbiased. You know you are a Ravens fan. Yeah. So let's see if they can make it to the Super Bowl. Okay. Week one, they play the Houston Texans at oh at home. Oh, uh, that's, prob- that's probably a dub plus 21. We win by 21 points. All right. One to know. Week two at the Bengals. I'll give us a loss. Mm-hmm. If Joe Shiesty plays week one and two, but I'm gonna give us a loss only because early in the season we gotta get some kinks out. We got some young players and stuff like that. Yeah, we'll take a loss. Odell gotta get back in stride. You know what I'm saying? Week three, home against the Colts. Home against the Colts. Yeah, we win. We win. Win. It's All right, dope. two and one. Week four at Cleveland. At Cleveland, yeah. We win. I don't you think win? Deshaun Watson is um, what everybody thinks he is. You anymore. think he'll bounce back? Yeah, you're gonna be a high, but. I've been tr- people have been trying to tell me Deshaun Watson better than Lamar. Deshaun Watson ah, no, that's, that's kind of crazy. Son. Yeah, exactly. That's so. crazy. Yeah, exactly. No <laughs> shot. No. All right, week five at Pittsburgh. At Pittsburgh, that's a dub. All yeah, right, yeah, we're, we're good. Four one, week six at tight at Tennessee. Win. Win. Yeah, we're good. Was that five and one? Mm-hmm. Week seven, home against the Lions. Don't sleep on the Lions now. Lions nah, pretty decent. So here's the thing. Lions fake decent. I'm going to give us the loss there. Okay. Because the Lions are sneaky. Their offense is really good. Mm-hmm. And we gamble a lot on defense. Mm. So I have a feeling our gambling is going to hoe us because they're really good on offense. Okay, okay. So I'm going to give us a loss there. That's 5-2. Mm-hmm. Week 8 against the Cardinals. Win. 6-2. No. 
Week nine, home against the Seahawks. Win. Win? Yeah, win, win. That's, you get a, win. that's a win? Yeah, DK's not. Yeah, we're good. Okay. okay. Their defense isn't as strong as yet. We're, we're good. We're, set, we're at seven and two now. Sounds good to me. All right, all right. <laughs> Week 10, home against the Browns. Yeah, that's another one. That's another win. So you're going to sweep the Browns. Yeah, Browns will sweep. That's all right, 8-2. Mm-hmm. Week 11 against the Bengals at home. I'm going to give us the loss because I think Joe Sicey won't be injured. Mm-hmm. I think he's really good, and the receiving core is really, really good. Okay. So, so I'm going to give us a loss there, too. 8-3. Week 12 at the Chargers. 12 at Chargers? Yeah. I'm going to give us a loss if they're healthy. If the Chargers are healthy. Okay. I'll give us a loss. That's 8 4. By week uh week 14, home against the Rams. Win. Win? They're too young. Nine like, and four. Too, too beat up. Week 15 at Jacksonville. That's a win as well. I think that's a win as well. It depends how they how the Jaguars come out this year, but I don't think they're ready to make that step. That to leap beat, yet? Yeah, to beat the Ravens. I don't think they're to beat Lamar Jackson. No, I oh, don't think my fault. Ten and yeah. four. Yeah. Week 16 at San Fran. Loss. 10 and 5. Week 17, home against the Dolphins. We're home? Yeah, against the Dolphins. I don't think two is that good, so I'm going to give us the win. I really don't think two. You don't think so? I think he's so much gas. He has, like, Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddle. Yeah. Like, they're OD. And then on top of that, like, he, he underthrows them a lot. But oh, Tyreek Hill is so nice, so it doesn't matter. Okay. But I don't think... Two is that good, bro. All right. That's 11 and... A's concussed, so... <laughs> 11 and 5, and last game, home against the Steelers. Um, <clears throat> We have a history of losing the last game to the Steelers, so I'll, I'll take the L there. So 11 and 6. 11 That's not bad. Six. That's not bad. 11 and 6. That's probably... That'll probably be good for, like, what, third, fourth seed around in that area? That, that we're probably, gonna, we're, yeah, it's, it's probably... Because I think the Bengals will get a bye, personally. I think the Bengals are really good. Yeah. I'm really high on the Bengals, but... I don't think uh, the Browns are going to do that good. I think they're going to even out right here. Yeah. Steelers never go under 500, so they're going to even out there too. So, Damn. Yeah. All right. They're going to be good, bro. All right. Okay. We'll see. We'll see February. We'll see. We'll come back in February. Remember last time I said Marcus Smart is going to win Depoy? Who won Depoy? He did I'm win. I'm just saying. Which People was crazy. Me. They clown me. He did win. All right. So... You want to go through these lists again, or you just want to get off that Lamar Jackson shit? I really wanted to get off that Lamar Jackson shit. I ain't so you want to go into some new shit? You want know, into some new shit. Bro. All right. I yeah. got some. So since we were talking about football, bro, you heard that story with Michael Orr, cuz? Yo. That's OD. I'm not going to lie, bro. That's OD. When I was a kid, I was like, could they be evil people? Bro, even nah, if, bro, wild. if y'all don't know, bro, y'all know Michael Orr, the peep, the... The lineman, he played he played for the Ravens, right? Yeah, he got drafted by the Ravens. He's drafted the Ravens. by the Ravens, and they made the blind side movie <clears throat> after him because he was a homeless, got adopted by the Tuies, whatever. Yeah. Turns out the whole time they didn't really adopt cuz they just freaking they just yeah. signed his likeness likeliness likeliness yeah. away so they can make money off of him. So How do you I, even do that? I don't know. That's what I'm saying. But, but even in the movie, they was talking about, yeah, they was doing investigations thinking like, oh, are they really like want to be his they parents? They were in the movie yeah. doing investigations. They was like, do they want to be his parents or some shit? Or do they just want to be like, like trying to make money off him? They was like, nah, we love him. Nah, they was really trying to make money off this nigga, bro. Yo, I'm like, what? And I, it's crazy because he's the one coming up about it too. Exactly. They, isn't he like, I think he's like suing him or something. I thought I'm it was fake. Lie. I feel like. It has to be true, though, because I was going to say, if they were really his family, he wouldn't be trying to get money off them. But I'm like, I feel like he don't got bread no, no more. I knew it was true because ESPN posted it. No, I'm saying, like, for him, like, for them to do that, I feel like he, like, true for them to, like, not really care about him. Because yeah. if they if they cared about him, he wouldn't have brought it to this big. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Because I was thinking, like, man, maybe he's just trying to get bread. So uh, let me sue these niggas because they got bread Yeah, to get bread. You feel me? But I don't know, bro. That's that shit so, is OD. That's so crazy, bro. Imagine... But, I mean, they were already rich. How much money do they... You know, it was probably the father. I bet you the father sent some I shit. I mean, when you have money, you want more. It's never enough. You think so? so? I think that's what it is. And plus... But even in that six, way, six, though? Six, 250 nah, that black guy yo. He, who's, like, in the hood. Oh, we can save him. Save him out the hood. Let's get a free slave. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Just give him a little food. Have him go to the gym. Now he's in the league. Now you get to go to Have game. him go to a good high school. He went to the Super Bowl. He did. Did he win? Wait, nah, he lost with uh, the Panthers. 
Uh, he didn't go. Can't he didn't get drafted that year when the the Ravens won. What was that? Two thousand. Oh wait, time out. Maybe he did win with us. I forgot what year. Might have got drafted that year. Was he that thirteen? It might be. He might be our our guy. Oh, I don't know. I remember. I remember he played for the Panthers, so I thought he went there with them. But damn, he's at the bro. Super Bowl. Wow. So you think Cuz gonna get? You think he's gonna like, bro? I don't think he's gonna win the case though. You don't think so? There's not enough evidence they're, for it. They said they they said they gave him a piece of paper saying it's adoption sheets, but it was really just him signing his name away. What? No, yeah. I think it's because they've been they've had money for so long and probably been in situations like this. They're gonna their lawyers are gonna know how to handle it. Yeah. Whereas Michael Orr, he only got money because he was an NFL player. Yeah. And <clears throat> it's too easy for them to just move, maneuver around. So, so do you think that they took they there's no way they like took portions of his NFL money, right? Mm-mm. You don't think so? I don't think so, no. Because I was saying like like I feel like that I forgot what the story was, but you heard about that that homeless nigga that played in the NBA that was in Newark? What? Bro, cuz like seven two, bro. I swear to god. Oh, I told you're talking you, about the 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 NBA homeless nigga. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I told you about cuz, bro. Yeah, Dario knows him, bro. Yeah, nigga yeah. seven two walked into the shit and like he played for the Utah Jazz, yeah, but then he did Spurs, crack. Right? You played for both of them? No, I think it was just the Jazz. Just the Jazz or somewhere out there. Because I know he said they he got he found crack and niggas started doing crack and shit. And then like I think his parent because like my dad used to play with them in like Jersey City and shit. Oh, your dad knows him. Yeah, yeah, he knew like he was they used to play around in the parks. Like he went to I think he lived in Jersey City, but he went to Elizabeth High School. And then he went oh, to yeah. Seton Hall and then he said, um, I think they like he just he was a little slow. So like the people used to try to take advantage of him, like all the, the scout the scouts used to come in to the hood and like watch him play basketball, but he really didn't care too much. I guess like his parents like like took all his money and that's why he became homeless. So he was in the A. Yeah, he was in the yeah, yo, he got yeah, drafted. Check him in? Let me get that. Yeah, and then he started doing drugs and then <clears throat> nigga was homeless for a little bit. And then I think his sister picked him. I think he lives in like Georgia or some shit. So man, you just got yo, when you big and black. Niggas really just they just they find a way. You. They just Yo, find shout a way. Shout out to not actually nah a negative shout out. A negative Vincent Robinson, the king of taking big black knees. <laughs> Yo. Yo, crazy. Yo, the the Robinson school, bro. If y'all bro, I'm not gonna lie, bro. Let me tell the youth. Let me tell you something, bro. Let me tell y'all, bro. Yeah, go ahead. If you're an athlete, right, basketball specifically, and you wanna make it out, you're like, oh shoot, let me take some. I gotta work hard another year. Do not go to prep school, bro. Yeah, don't do that. It's not Don't go to prep school, bro. Only if you're like, the, if you're like nice. You're like the OD. number one prospect in and the you state. Failed every class. Yeah. And I'm not gonna lie. You'll still get picked up by a Division one school. They'll yeah. still have you in on waivers, so you'll be fine. You'll figure it out. But regardless, though, prep school is you go there, you pay money, you play basketball, you get, you don't really get no credits, and then you try to make it to D one, D two. When you can make that out of high school, or just go to a JUCO. Or go to a D3, go somewhere and, and hoop and get your credits for your degree because you're going to be wasting bread. I'm wasting you, so much bread, so much time for Robinson no school reason. tried to get me. They were like, and they convinced my dad. They were like, yo. He was like, yeah, man, uh, if he comes here, man, I make Division One athletes. <laughs> come to my school. He's going to play basketball. All he's going to do is play basketball every day. We're going to get him ready. He's going to go Division One. And I was like, let's go. And I'm like, I don't care. Like, you know, <laughs> I didn't want to do that because it's been a waste of bread. So, so I'm saying, hey, you, wait, how much was it? Do you remember? It's like the tuition was like five or 6000 for the year, for the year, yeah, nah. it's still a waste, bro. That's a it's whole a waste semester, of money. Like, uh, like, yo, you're you're wailing, like, and I, you gotta, and then if you want to live there, you gotta pay, cause they have a house you gotta pay for. Yeah, they nah. don't do nothing but take like the SAT one time, have you go play basketball. It's just dumb, but uh, yo, niggas really just be taking advantage of motherfuckers nowadays, bro. Cause you, of your man. skills, don't let them. If you if you could play Division three, but you wanna, if you are good enough to play Division two, whatever, Division one. And you need to go to JUCO or whatever. Yeah. Go to JUCO. However good you are, they will find you. That's what I'm saying. You know, you will what I'm never. Saying? You will never. If you are that nice to where you are, you they will find you. you don't have to pay more. Unless money you have a bad you. attitude. That unless you're uncoachable. You. That's that not. Can, yeah. that, that can't work out. They'll that pick the white guy over you in the heartbeat. The yeah. nigga that just set screens and from the yeah, country, yeah, exactly. they'll pick that nigga. Oh, yeah, they way better. Nothing. Yeah, they're gonna pick him. But, but I got a question for you before I get into the other topics. Yeah. So I've been seeing this online. Joe Biden. Have you seen online? What? Joe what Biden's mean? offering African Americans to pick cotton or cotton related activities for three hundred dollars an hour. Where do I sign up? <laughs> <laughs> what the what? Yeah. what the what? Do you understand how much hold on 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 three not three hundred bro you three hundred an hour bro. Alright, watch this. Alright, watch this. All right, cool, cool. Only African Americans? Yes. It's racist, but I'll take it. All right, hold on. 
Three hundred. One, two, three. Right. Times. How many hours do I work? Let's go thirty. I go under. Right. <laughs> right. Thirty. How much is that a week, so, bro? Oh, I said. Hold on. You said three hundred. Three thousand times thirty. Right. In one week. Yep. Right. In one week, I'm making nine thousand dollars. <laughs> if I work thirty hours. I work 35 hour weeks, but if I work 30 hours, I'm making $9,000. You work at nine. Now let's multiply that by four. 36,000 in one month. Let's multiply that by 12. <laughs> I'm making half a million. I'm making 432,000. All right, we mo- remove 30,000 because taxes. <laughs> okay. He's giving me free bread. I will, I'm not going to lie to you, bro. bro <laughs> I will pick cotton with my shirt off, <laughs> with no shoes on, and ripped shorts. For three hundred dollars an hour? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Yo, you losing me, bro? I ain't gonna lie, bro. People are people are mad about this. Yeah, niggas, bro. I ain't gonna lie. This is like reverse slavery. This is not slavery. Is this not what we wanted? I pro- yo, I promise you, bro. I promise you, bro. You yeah. take yo everybody who disagrees with me right now. Ask your grandma, bro, or ask your great grandma. If they were if they were slaves, or ask them about their parents. Those slaves, our great great grandparents that were slaves, would be like. You told me I could get half a million dollars for the shit I'm doing right now. They did it anyway. <laughs> That's what I'm, I'm trying to tell you. I'm doing hey, that shit. What? As long as they don't whip me, lynch me, all that shit. Don't not be gonna lie, bro. How many whips are you talking about? Nah, I'm not getting whipped. I'm not I, getting... It depends though. Like, you, it, is it only whipped when I act out of pocket? I mean, I guess, but still, right, I don't. I want will that. never act out of pocket for that <laughs> bread. I will never act out of pocket, bro. <laughs> I don't want that over over my head, bro. I'm, that shit gonna hurt. I'm, mm-hmm. I'll do it for one week, bro. <laughs> I'll do it for one week and quit. I'll, yo, what? I'll, I, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'll put it, I'll stop school right now, stop everything, do it for one good year. I'm good, bro. I ain't gonna lie, you good for life. Like that's not that's not is that racist? I don't think it's racist. No, think- no, no, no. <laughs> let me move let me move it back. It's racist fuck. He could have had us do like, all right guys, how about you guys make shoes or something? You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> no. or make some shirts or make music. You know what I'm saying? Anything that we already do, right? That'd be cool. But he's talking about picking cotton. That's <laughs> you're come on, you know what you're doing. You, do, you picked cotton because we used to that shit. But I'm saying it's like, hey, bro. cook food. You could have said something else, but it's racist, but it's okay. They paint. Is this what, they're, this see, what we you know wanted? What it is? You know what it is? What? People's ego. See, people be like, no, we're going to let the white people win if we don't get our money. Or if we if we take that money. I'm w- God is giving out gifts. Wait, where do I sign up, though? <laughs> no. I'll say, like, there's no way. He's like proposing or nah, is it already this in is, motion? This is not real. <laughs> oh, I was about to say, that's OD, bro. I'm taking that, though. That is OD. Is that what I said? That Yo, $300 an hour is up, bro. Nah, sign me up, bro. Nigga, you, I make that. and Niggas make $300 in two weeks. An hour? 300, 300, I'm not going to lie. $300 an hour, bro. 300 in a day. What if that's like the only way? You, you give me 300 a day. You You, you good? It's Not to pick cotton though, I'll be I'll be the house I'll be the house nigga. Nah, three hundred a day, three hundred a day to pick the cotton. Yes. No, I'm not doing that. Three hundred a day, five days. No, I, I'm gonna I'm be inside. A thousand five hundred dollars a week. Let me think. Oh, you gotta think about nah, it. Now let me rethink that. <laughs> you gotta think about it. I'm gonna put my shirt on. I'm gonna put my <laughs> shoes on. And my sh- I'm not wearing shorts. All right, now that's what I'm saying. Cotton get hurt. That shit. That shit get caught in your freaking leg. You know it. You might be spitting here. You know what I'm I'll saying? I'll still do it, though. I'll do it, but I'm going to be inside, though. Nah, I'm not inside. I'll, I'll stay outside. You're going to be outside? Now, if you say- I'll take care of the children. Nah, 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 I'll, nah if you say 300 a week, I might smack whoever even offered that to <laughs> That's what it is. Like, we're going back. Now we're going back. Now we're going, back. we're going backwards. Yeah, 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 yeah. But 300 yeah. hours, perfect. Hour? I'll, That's I'll good. do anything. Pause. I say like Yeah, they got me up, bro. I Yo, niggas is crazy, bro. <laughs> but nah, nah, some real shit on the, the real news about the world, bro. I, I talked about it on the hundredth episode, but we really didn't go in depth because it happened mm. that day. Mm. So if you haven't known already, the people don't know, the government has confirmed aliens. Right? Which is kind of weird because nobody really gives a fuck. They didn't really confirm it though. Do you know like the whole story behind it? Like what the fuck happened? So basically, I remember I was watching something. It was like um, aliens being confirmed, and oh yes, I remember it was the aliens being confirmed, but they released it. Yeah. At the same time, see, they already got me. Something else came out. Like yeah, we just invaded somewhere or something. There's hella memes about it now. But yeah. Like, it was like they released it at the same time something big where else happened. Something else in the government. Like oh yeah. 
a whole bunch of senators are being tried on trial and stuff like that. Is it and for like that human trafficking shit? No, right. I'm, it's something around that. I don't even remember. They got me. I'm already. I'm locked more in on the aliens. Oh, then yeah, you yeah, know yeah. What I'm saying? I know what you mean. I know what you mean. It's something of that nature. So with with that, I know the aliens. Like my my thing is with them confirming, like yo, no, we have aliens here. Like we they made made contact. But what they what they did, they didn't really confirm it like that. He just swore mm-hmm. to oath. Like he was a he was like an ex UF. Uh, U.S. Air Force Air mm-hmm. personnel, whatever, mm-hmm. and he swore that they have like a UFO retrieval and like re-engineering like program, like a mm-hmm. secret one. Mm-hmm. And yeah, he said exactly. he he said he said he has pictures, but he didn't show them to the thing because he can't like that's something he couldn't do. He said he didn't see it for himself, but he like seen like pictures and shit like that. He's seen like yeah. documents, and it's like he they said they have like they retrieve UFOs, they've created UFOs, and they've like. Retrieve like alien, like biological alien. And I saw something where it's like certain. That's the, that's the thing. I I don't know if I said that on here, but I was talking about if they retrieved the aliens, right? Yeah. The aliens that landed mm-hmm. are definitely like the researchers. Yeah. Did I say that on here already or no? No. So I was saying is the aliens that landed here are probably not like. Real high you know, we up. worried about like aliens coming here and messing us up. Yeah. But like, if we we send somebody to the moon or send somebody there, we didn't send freaking Rambo. Yeah, we didn't send Arnold Schwarzenegger, bro. We sent like the scientists. They didn't send like <laughs> me. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, you didn't send nobody who could really do shit. But I'm saying they sent like I them up there. But I'm saying like they sent like people with like PhDs and like scientists. Yeah. So if we if they got out somewhere and they landed, mm-hmm. they was probably trying to survive. Mm. You feel me? Like they was probably just like. Oh, where are we? And we're like, gun that nigga down. Feel me? Like, yeah. and they're going to feel me. Now we, yeah. we murked them, mm-hmm. and now we're doing that shit. But, like, my thing is, it's like, if we have, like, the UFO, yeah. What I, I'm worried, like, all right, what if there's a signal going back? Excuse me. And Saying, then, like, help? Yeah. Yeah. You know, but I don't think, I don't think they came here. I feel like they've been here already. Like, like, just hiding and shit? Yeah, I feel like niggas. I feel like it's not that hard, especially with how many people we are, how big the world. Is. I don't think it's okay. that hard to hide. You, you know, know what I'm saying? I think it is. Too. I, I I think they. You know what it is? Their technology. If they even crash landed on the planet, it's so far ahead that they probably were here in the 50s, 60s, like what all these movies are about. Yeah. And like they could just be hiding in plain sight, like invisible, just like, like I'm saying, like hovering above niggas and just watching. Either that, nothing. or they they might be living amongst us, my nigga. Like think about it yeah. as like a, think about it as like a zoo enclosure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like they, Damn. like as in like bears and like, you know, in the zoo, they make it look like their habitat and they could walk through and shit like that. The bear will never know. Yeah. Because they just feel me. He might be a little startled. Like, Man, what the fuck is, is that? that? A window? Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? But like, he's like, but he's not. But then he's like, no, I'll just eat some food. That's what I'm saying. Like they they throw oh, like. Oh, and you know how like um gorillas, they tranquilize. So like their food mm-hmm. has like, um not laxatives, what whatever, uh shit that makes like. Uh, tranquilizer. Muscle relaxers. Oh, muscle relaxers? Yeah. So basically like. So they don't get aggressive. So it's like they, because they could really break that window if they wanted to. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It's like, it's like so they're like, damn, they're mad, like droopy, and they don't want to do nothing. They don't want to mm, jump out. Yeah. So like, feel me for us. Like as we get close, it could be the f- stuff we take in, like the food. Oh. Feel me? It could be like, like this nigga smart as shit. I uh, yeah, put some shit in his food, huh? So he can feel like, me. So he, so he's oh. like, hmm, video game. You know what I'm saying? Hmm, TikTok. Whoa. You know what I'm saying? Like now yeah, it's getting crazy. Yeah, I know like, what you mean. You know what I'm saying? Now it's like. It's like, all right, let's do something. Not not just food, like as simple as putting media. like tranquilizer, but it could be yeah, like media could be like just in general, like the stuff that takes our attention as away it gets from more, that. Yeah, away from stuff. Or it could just be like, all right, they're about to launch a rocket ship, and then they're like, not nah, our rocket ship about to work. Fuck it up. Mm, Feel me? Yeah, that's kind of true. Elon Musk getting smart. Fuck up his Twitter account. Feel me? Twitter ass now. That's what I'm saying. Yo, like, if like me? that's that's hey. That's kind of creepy. That makes sense though. Yeah, yeah. Because like, if you if you really think about it, like when niggas really just like, what's the word like, like how scientists look at. I was talking this before. How scientists look at animals. How we research them. Mm-hmm. Imagine they research us on the regular. On the regular, just they be walking amongst us. Imagine they no got regular t- type shit. <laughs> <laughs> <That's weird. laughs> type shit. Like imagine, yeah. imagine niggas is like like. Dressed up as humans and just walking amongst us. Damn. Like on some crazy, like you would never know. Like I said, like there be niggas that you see walking down the street that you don't think, like they just look, we- they just look like that's all they do, just walk I'm down the street, Zuck- continuously bro, just walking down. I will say this to like Zuckerberg is too weird, bro. Mm-hmm. There's no way he's about to box Elon. Elon Musk, I believe, is a real human because he's actually awkward. Yeah. Zuckerberg is like. No feelings? Like it's so, like, what was it, melancholy? Is that what it's called? Mm-hmm. Where he's just like no expressions. 
Like he's just like, and it's like so <laughs> fake. Like his life, haha, I'm a robot, ha. Yeah. Like it's like, yo, my boy. Like, bro, that's what I'm saying. Think about it. Niggas running the one of the the first platforms of social media, bro. Nigga created that shit. Yeah. Maybe that's the food niggas are talking about, the muscle relaxing, yeah, bro. I think I, I ain't go, yeah. And it's like, I remember I was listening to Joe Rogan a lot, and he was talking about, so when I was saying that aliens might have been here already, mm-hmm. I was saying, like, been here working with humans as in, like, Egypt, like, back in the Sumerian time. We was talking about that before. Mm-hmm. As in, like, they were the ones that helped build all that shit. That's what people think. They helped build the pyramids, helped build all these structures. But I think so, there's yeah. a theory that goes by, like, it's called the Younger Dryas Impact Theory. You ever heard of that shit? Younger dryers impact theory? It's about, like, so 12,000 years ago, instead of, like, all, supposedly, you know how supposedly back then, like, all the civilizations that were advanced, more advanced than us and shit like that? Mm-hmm. So supposedly 12,000 years ago, in where all the advanced civilizations are, like, meteors came down and destroyed everything, right? And they there's proof. Like, there's mm-hmm. a giant, like, I, bro, there's a giant crater underneath the ice in Antarctica. It's, like, 400, like, meter, like, 400-something miles across, but it's mm-hmm. under the ice, and they said, like, one hit, like, I think, where Europe is. And it hit, like, during the Ice Age. So that's what caused the flood. Like, it hit the ice. Damn. And everything got flooded. Uh, but I'm thinking in my mind, right? If somebody... If that happened to us, we're all dead. Because we don't really got... But, like, think about it. If it did happen to us, some of us are going to live. Because we have mm. we have apocalypse protocols. Niggas going on the ground and shit like that. Yeah. So imagine a society that's way more advanced than us. What What is their... Damn, what safety protocol? Up. What could have fucked them up? That's what I'm saying. Like they had way, they had better way more shit. So I'm thinking, I don't think they all died out. I feel like they all had like they all went underground. Nah, nah, peep this, bro. With what? I'm about to hit you with some heat, bro. Let me hear it, bro. Let me hear it, bro. I think they were so advanced because the pyramids, all those stuff. Because think about all the numbers and how well put together pyramids, all the wonders of the world. I know it's all it's honestly perfect. Think about everything, the Great Wall, to everything, right? Yeah. And think about how far lo- ago, far ago it was. Yeah. Now think about maybe when the catastrophic event was gonna happen. Yeah. They actually made it out, That's and what? they're the aliens that are monitoring us. Oh. So they're humans, but they're not even like I'm saying like. So say say they have like okay yeah a meteor is about to hit, they went up into space and, and they're like just- wait boom it hit. All right, we're going to stay in oh, space. Oh, and they're monitoring up top? They're like, all right, we're going to stay because they're so advanced. They're so advanced. So they already so had like, this shit planned out. So they're like, we're going to stay in space for the next 50 years. And they're like, oh, shoot. Yo, some of these niggas survived, cuz. And, and like, then we're, why they we're... look like that, though? They look a little different. Or they acting different. Now they're so... Let's monitor. Feel me? Let's, oh. all right, we're going to go in Antarctica because they know how to, they're way advanced. So they, they that's not going to phase them. Yeah. And now it's only not a lot of them. So it's like, okay. And now they're integrating. Feel me, it now back they're in. like, now they're like starting to do things. And now it's like, now we're looking at them as aliens, but really they were here first. That's why so it might not be aliens. They might already be from here. Cause not, yeah, yo, we just, we cracked the code. We just, yeah. We just, we just, but like, let, we turned it up, yo, right? now let me, let me go into more further. You said yeah. up top, yeah. bro. Imagine they went down below, bro. Damn. Cause you got to think about it. You know, people find like, Cities underground every yeah, single day, bro, under like deep, deep, deep underground. Like they found one in Turkey that could hold fifty thousand people. You know about this? You know what it even might be even true? Like make it even truer is because remember I think we talked about this in one of the very first episodes in the pod. It's like deep in. I got to figure out what ocean, but deep as hell in the ocean, like. You know they go into um, the high pressure yeah. tanks and go down, mm-hmm. not the one that blow, but you know what I mean. And they yeah. go down. There's like a water. It looks like a deeper lake, a yeah, lake in yeah, a lake, yeah, yeah, yeah. and they bounced off of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll say something like that. That's like, man, that's like a force. It's field? like energy pushing yeah. it off. So it's like, what's 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 making it do that? That's what I'm Feel saying. Me? So it's like that could be like, yo, bro, we down here, cuz like Go get ahead. Like, get like Atlantis, but it's, it's weird, bro. But like I'm saying, that's damn. Like, imagine, because if they're so more advanced than us, supposedly, there's no way that they didn't have, like, a oh a safety precaution. Like, oh, we knew that they didn't know it was coming. Like, it just hit them out of nowhere. Because right now, we're trying to set up shit. That's like what that. I'm saying. Like, we got, bro, think about it. They went underground, right? And, you know, you ever, I told you about the whole shit about the hollow earth theory with Admiral yeah. Byrd, about yeah. him finding some shit over Antarctica. Yeah. Imagine that nigga found them. Mother- he said he went through a hole into, In the, earth. into earth. Imagine yeah. he found them under the ground. And that's what he was talking about. Like the whole time they've been here the whole time, but they just found a way to like, like bunker down and hunker down, like for the apocalypse, for all these meteors coming down, and they survived it, and they just been living in what, and they just rebuilt it again in that little underground thing, and that's what Alma Brothers seen, because that nigga said he went across Antarctica and seen a 
freaking society, uh, whole civilization, bro. And nobody believed cuz. And nobody believed them. Damn. But just imagine, like, it's not, because. And they could be living amongst us if they were already, like, more technological. That's, a, that's what I'm saying. Humans. They could just, all right, bro, I'm about to go take a walk through these these little monkeys and shit. That's what I'm saying. Because we walk through the forest, and they look at us like. Who is this thing? Exactly, bro. Exactly, bro. They, they just touch they, my food, bro. They look at us like we weird. Yeah. But maybe they doing that with us with the UFOs, bro. But, like, it's yeah, like, yeah. and it's yeah. crazy. People don't think that back in the days that we were. Advanced enough that we was just all caving, but you gotta think about it. Look how much we came from 1900 to 2023. You see that big ad, like, just imagine. Now imagine from like zero BC to like one year 1000. How much of a if we were on the same path we're on right now? We that's only a hundred years. We yeah, went from we went from not even having cars double. to having fucking Spaceship. AI shits. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Shit that could generate. So a imagine a, in a thousand years. You tell me, you tell me that all these niggas, oh no, nah, the cavemen. From the cavemen, they just it created like the Roman Colosseums, or whatever. Like there was no like that little gap. Nobody talks about what the, what's been happening between that gap, bro. Yeah, I'm, there's that. There's the Great Wall. What did they need the Great Wall for? Yeah, How I don't know. Built? That was kind of creepy. That's weird as hell. What the hell they need the Great Wall of China for? Because like think about it. If it's that far back in the Stone Age, right? You put a, a wall up. All right, that wall will protect you. But by the time that wall is built. They don't figure it out how to make catapults, how to make shit that could get exactly. past the wall. You know how long then it the probably takes? What the hell you need that pyramid? Like, feel me? I don't care how rich you are. You know what I'm saying? You don't need the pyramid with all those. And there's no coincidence with them numbers, bro. It's no, me? Bro, they're all lined up correctly. They all built the same way. And, like, it, and it's, there's pyramids all over the country. They're all, all over the place, the world, bro. Yeah. Like, do niggas not think, like, yo, now nah, they now nah, we can build that. If we can build that, you think we're going to be building skyscrapers like this today? Look how that shit has been standing for thousands of years. These, I was going to say, I was going to tweak. I was going to say Twin Towers. <laughs> I was going to say, no more, I was thinking of saying. No, that's what I'm saying. That shit that fell. About one plane. No, one one pl- let me stop. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like, like, we cannot do that. And I feel like people are starting to realize yeah. that, like, the shit they teach us is not really adding up. Yeah, bro. It's not, math is not math. And you know what's real. crazy? What? That's where, like, they have all these distractions. Yeah, I think so. Like all these distractions on the world, like just like, all right, now you can, I, ah, you, yeah, niggas thinking too hard. Let me, let me throw some bullshit. Oh yeah, some heat. Yeah, feel me? Hey, some man. easy shit. Yeah, I think. Unless, yeah, bro. unless this whole this whole time they just we're we're far away left, and they, there's some other shit that's going oh, down. We're we don't not even, even know. Near. Like, <laughs> you know. Like you know how fucking misdirection. Like you know how magicians be misdirecting niggas. Yeah. Imagine they do the same shit with us. Like yeah, we're gonna make you think this, but really this shit's happening. Yeah. Like yo, like. Even like when they, as soon as they talk about aliens, did you see what was happening in uh, Peru, bro? What was happening in Peru? Bro, they said there's a per, there's a Peruvian village in the mountains that claims that were they were being attacked for weeks since July 11th by seven foot tall aliens that were dressed like the Green Goblin from Spider Man. They had they were seven feet tall with armor and yellow eyes, and niggas said, bro, they this was on the news, like it was on the news. They called the cops. They called the, the army was there. The cops was there. They supposedly a fifteen year old girl almost got killed. She got slashed in the in the neck and she almost bled out. They had to call the emergency for that. And every single night since July eleventh, they would come in and they were just like, I don't know if they were just like studying them, messing with them, but the locals would shoot at them. But every time they shoot, that shit would like deflect off. But nobody talking about this shit. You know what the you know what the, the cops said they were, bro? See, they done told us we got aliens. Now aliens popping up. It's gonna start popping up in these little third world countries first. Exactly, because yo, they're not gonna they're not gonna bleed. You know what the, the locals said? Yeah. Or the cops, they said they're um gold cartels using jetpacks. I said, how first of all, that's what they, that's what they proclaim. I'm like, yeah, this shit gotta be fake. There's no I mean not fake jetpacks. Fa- I don't like this this shit gotta be some weird shit because it's like that that's so far left. Niggas don't have jetpacks. No, but niggas don't got. That's what like I looked it up on Google. That's literally what it said. I'm like, no way. Niggas wrote articles about this, and niggas think alien, the the war. It got even crazier from the the alien part. They said it's predator like. Like you remember the predator? They, they got cloaking yeah, shits. That's... It was like that. So what do you think that would be if that was said? And True. it's bouncing off niggas shooting bullets. Niggas yeah, shooting bullets. The cartel that's, is not bouncing off. That's what I'm saying. Nobody that, that that's the scariest cartel in the world, my nigga. <laughs> Like hey, you gotta be careful. Why are they not taking over the government? That's what, what I'm saying. Like, why can't they take over the world right now? Drugs for go. These niggas is doctor doofus merch. Some... That's hey, bro. Damn. But do you think they actually like experienced something, or you think they're just nah? I, I, I think something happened. Now, it depends how far it went. 
Now, if everybody in the village is saying that, I think it's like, okay, yeah, it's for real. But if it's like a couple, it could just be the start of another folk tale. Think so? And it could just be like niggas pulled up in there. Because they say that, they call them like, like skin peelers. Because like they say they're like dissect, dissecting the, like a lot of the people in the village went missing and then they found their bodies and like their like faces like peeled back. You're lying. Hey, that's, that's what the locals... Well, uh, I'll tell you right now, they start saying that shit in Jersey or some shit, you know I'm getting my backpack. <laughs> Bro, my backpack is ruined. Why? What happened? Bro, niggas remember from the first time I was on here, or second time I had my backpack, bro. That was your first episode. Bro, my backpack, the cans of food in there, bro, yeah. I left it, I think it was probably in my car, probably in, in my house, whichever one, it got too hot, and the can exploded. Oh, that shit's ruined the in food, there? So, it, like, it spilled in my shit, so I had to empty the bag and clean it out, bro. I mean, that's not bad. I'm thinking, like, that shit yeah, got compromised. I gotta re-up. Oh, so yeah. So when that happened, I took it out and cleaned it. My mom threw everything out, bro. Oh shit. So you got everything. no more food in there? No, I don't have the hand sanitizer, the bandages, the al- the rubbing alcohol. I don't have any of the um what's it called? The marbles that I had for the slingshot. Wow. Um I don't even know where she put the slingshot or my hammer. Um <laughs> This thing is not prepared. Matches, <laughs> everything I had is gone. It's so like, if the world were to end right now, I'm done up. So oh I'm wow. Done. I'm dead. There is no so shot. if them niggas pulled up the union. Them, them cloaking niggas. It's done up. I don't have my shit to protect myself, bro. Mm. I Type can't do shit. nothing. I ain't gonna lie. The alien's kind of smart, though, for going to these third world countries that don't got phones. Because, nigga, if you see me, you go, I'm right, immediately... Right. I'm FaceTiming you. Yo, yo, go live. Immediately, I am recording that bitch, I'm, yo, and I'm sending that shit out. I'm going live. I bro. might die, but you know what? The world got to know, bro. That shit going on. No regulars, bro. Damn. Yeah, but, like, no do, you, do you think that shit will be real, or do you think they're just gelling? Nah, like, I think it, nah, I think it's real, bro. I think they've seen something... But like that's a crazy ass description. Like Skin that's, peelers too. That's that's, the, that's, that's like if little, you told me this happened like fifty, a hundred years ago, I'd be like, worried. That's another folk tale. That yeah, they're yeah. Over here gelling about, bro. We talking about twenty twenty three, bro. Bro, that shit. They said that shit happened. Them niggas not. They, they said, got cameras on them. They ain't lying. Bro, like they that. said that shit been happening for a month, bro. Literally every single night, Peru? bro. Yeah, in Peru, in the mountains. It was crazy. I almost went on a internship in Peru this summer. You was about to in get July. hijacked. Like why? Must be done up. Like why? Wait for what company? For Rutgers University, New York. Nah, you're bugging. I'm I not was going about to go over there and research the soil. So the soil. I was so, gonna be in the forest. So yeah. Oh, you're bugging. So you would have seen them. Sh- them niggas. I wouldn't be here. I'd be dead. Yeah, they would have seen. They would have got you easy. Yeah, it would off my shit. They would. They <laughs> six eight. What's this? What's this guy? He said, "What is?" He doesn't look like them other ah, ones. We got one. I uh, got, yeah, got, got one. Got one. Oh my god, <laughs> bro. One. But you got anything? You got anything you want to talk about before I go into some new topics? I got some good. I got some heat. Season god. two starting off right, people. Let me. So this is one thing I was gonna ask you, right? Yeah. I was gonna do an overrated, underrated food edition. I'm you. ready, bro. It feels right. good to be moving around. And I want bro. you to tell me. <laughs> so now you can move. <laughs> I can move, guys. I want you to tell me why you picked overrated, underrated, right? All right. It's only four. It's gonna be five. I forgot the fifth one. But so we wanna start with you. So overrated, underrated. Yeah. Cheeseburgers. Cheeseburgers are. Damn, overrated or underrated? Now think about exactly what you exactly what they are. You talk about the you food quality. Just, think about food quality um, and how available they are, and how much people like rating wise, how much people like. Oh, I want a cheeseburger. You know what? I would say they are pretty. We're perfectly rated. I was I would say perfectly rated, but just for the extent, I would say I would say overrated. The one reason is because there's a lot of, first of all, every fast food place sells a burger, mm. which means that they're not, all the fast food places, not quali- the quality is not that great. Okay. You got to go, if you want a real burger, you got to go to like a good like burger spot. Like you, I'm talking about that shit got to be only burgers. Smash burgers. Smash burgers. Bro, there's a place me and Jay went to in like Hobo. That shit called Seven Street Burger. That shit is busting. Shake Shack. You still haven't tried Shake Shack. You're bugging. But burgers, I feel like, and I feel like everybody loves burgers, but like if I if I go to like if I go to a restaurant, Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna choose a burger. You know, Mm -hmm. like if there's more shit. Yeah, I'm a, yeah. But there's fire burgers. I'm not gonna get like a like I will yeah, get something. Now let me throw your curve. You throw bacon on that hoe. No, throw some bacon on it. Over or underrated. Bacon on a burger is very is underrated because I feel like underrated. a lot of niggas. A lot of they don't like they don't like swine because I feel like everybody in this world is wallahi like now. I will not eat a bacon cheeseburger. Nah, I just won't do it. It's very underrated because yeah. you, you're you're missing swine out. Swine is bad for you, brother. Huh? Swine is bad. Every for you, brother. corn is bad for you. Do you eat corn? No. 
Yeah, fuck. You. I don't eat my vegetables either. <laughs> so <laughs> this nigga just six eight for no reason. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, how the fuck? But so, nah. Yeah. But nah. Yeah, I would say burgers are overrated. Okay. I would say burgers are overrated. Now, I was gonna say a chopped cheese. A chopped cheese. Overrated or underrated? You know that's a big New York thing. That is a big New York and thing. They, and they be meat riding it. I had a chopped cheese once, and when I tell you, I haven't had have it from? again. Where'd you have it from? I had, I got it from. Was it in Jersey? It was in Jersey City, yeah. In Jersey City, and I, you know, had, I had a chopped cheese. And you think it's overrated, or underrated? I think it's overrated. I'm not gonna lie. I think it's really overrated. I feel like it's re- like the idea is cool. It's like a New York Philly cheesesteak. You now, know, the one they made you was it like. They put one type of cheese or put multiple cheeses in there? Nah, they had like, they just had like one. Had, I forgot. It was like provolone cheese. That was it. So I had a chopped cheese from that chopped cheese van I was talking about. Yeah. And he put like every different cheese in there. Wait, where's the van at? It, 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 he, I don't see him no more, so he definitely ran out of business. But it was like <laughs> top of Bleaker and MLK. Oh, okay. And okay. like he, all the cheeses, he mixed it up. Yeah. But one thing I feel like with chopped cheeses, I need hot sauce, which automatically makes them overrated to me. So. I just think it's like, it's just... Yeah. I, I mean, maybe it's just the one I had. It was kind of dry. Mm, like, I feel mm. like it's not, like, like mm. it's, it's drier than a Philly cheesesteak a little bit. Or maybe it's, like, it's, it's in the same boat as a Philly cheesesteak. I feel yeah. like it's just, like, it's just burger meat. but, like, yeah. people go, like, yo, I need a chopped cheese. But, like, it's just, like, you're nah. just basically eating ground meat and, like, yeah. cheese and lettuce yeah. and tomato. That's it. Yeah, exactly. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I write, like, that's not, it's cool. Exactly. It's cool, but it's like I, if it was a bacon egg cheese or a chopped cheese, I'm taking a bacon egg cheese right. over. Well, I'm glad you said that because my next option was meat egg and cheese sandwiches. Oh, they're underrated as fuck. You think they're underrated? <laughs> they're <laughs> underrated. I'm you know, telling <laughs> you, a Taylor ham egg and cheese. You throw a hash brown on that motherfucker, ketchup, mayo, pep, salt, pepper. That's one thing. I put some crushed pepper, crushed red the, pepper the, flakes. The red pepper flakes. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah, you know, because yeah, you're not. You can yeah. eat that any meal of the day. Yeah. You could you don't even have you don't need no Taylor ham. You can get bacon. 24/7. You can get sausage, steak, steak egg and cheese, bro. Steak egg, you know what I mean? I'm trying to tell them. Like those breakfast yeah. sandwiches, like a, a meat egg and cheese sandwich is one underrated? of the most, most now, underrated now, things. Now, pause, take away the meat. Egg and cheese? Just egg and cheese. Um I, I personally I still think it's underrated. For me, for me. I think it's underrated too because like it's a good meal when you're like you mean I'm I'm like you know I'm fasting so I don't yeah, eat too you much. You don't want to eat too much. Yeah, you know that's, it's cool if you don't want to if like you don't want to eat like all if the you calories. Want no meat, yeah, you don't want to pee. Pause. Like pause. You know. Yeah, what yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know you can yeah, just have yeah. egg and cheese. That's just fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah Especially okay, you, okay, okay, but okay. if you have it, if you get a, if you want it on a hero, that's cool. But you gotta have it on a roll, bro. No, a bagel. A bagel, nah, a bagel, a bagel might bagel. be overrated. If you're trying, what? You got, you got, you got to think. Let me, let me, let me talk. Over, <laughs> overrated. Yeah, it might be a little just overrated. because of the bagel. Just because the bagel is like, I feel like for me, like, cause like it depends. When we get from crowd, that nigga squishes the bagel. I feel like the bagel that's just too much bread though. You trying to get full or you just nah, trying like, to like, like if I have a, if I have a Krauser roll like a like a Kaiser roll or like a Portuguese roll, yeah, that that's shit cool, is like, bro, that but shit. I'm not full. But like I feel like like the Kaiser roll that shit soaks up like the the mayo ketchup and it's like okay yeah you know okay, what I'm saying I like that. I get that Portuguese yeah, it soaks it up but and I don't be getting ketchup on mine no more because uh, ketchup is too strong of a flavor to be messing with my, <laughs> my steak egg and cheese but on a bagel I'm not gonna lie I begin them on a you know me I begin yeah. them on a sub roll now. Nah, so like oh, sub rolls, that's too. That's now too you get more meat, Paul. <laughs> like you get, more, you get more yeah. food. Like I'm trying like, to say, like I'm just saying, like a bagel is cool, but I feel like. If you t- especially if you toast the bagel, that should get hard. You know what I'm but saying? See, they gotta toast it right. You gotta tell them, yo, toast my shit a little bit. Toast, <laughs> toast, toast my shit. Up. Yeah, toast my shit a little bit. You feel me? Like, yeah, can I get it toasted a little bit? Like, like you gotta throw okay, it in okay, there. Okay, okay. But if you tell them like, yo, toast it, you about to get a burn. That bagel. should get. That should get crit- I don't like it when it crit- like I like like the Kaiser roll, even when it's toasted. It's not enough. Food, it's not bro. enough. More. I'm saying. All right, all right. More. If you go to Bagel Spot by the high school, oh, I-, I don't even get it toasted from there. Oh no, I don't. I mean, I don't I w- toast it, but it's like perfect. That's per. That's the best bagel spot ever. That is. It's no. Nah, I, I, I gotta go to. O, there's a place called Old Bagel in, ba- in Hoboken that's pretty good. I heard. Oh, but yo, what you be in Hoboken? Bro, the Italian oh, niggas know how to make some food, bro. Damn, the Italian. I hate getting a bacon egg and cheese, and it's like the egg is like moist, like it's oh it's runny. Leaking. Yeah, no, yeah. no. Nah, nah, that's that. I that's that fancy that. white shit. I don't that's like that, that shit. Yeah, bro. Like I need I, the Arabic shit. In Parsippany, at my job at the office, if you order a egg sandwich, leak. 
Yeah, yeah nah, you gotta, like, the, you gotta tell him the you gotta tell him the fried egg. I never like, thought bed. I had to tell him, yo, well done. On nah, my you got you got it's well crazy. done the eggs, bro. Yeah, you got well done the <laughs> well done my eggs is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that's, like, yeah. that's wild. Well done my the eggs, eggs is, bro. But then the last one is fruity pebbles. Oh damn. Yeah, fruity pebbles, bro. <laughs> it's crazy because me and Jay, that's funny, cause when me and Jay went to Atlanta, we got fruity pebbles, but we got the new one. It's like crunchy. Shit was ass as fuck. Crunchy pebbles, like, cause you know how fruity pebbles, like, it gets soggy with the milk. It's this one don't get soggy. It's like it's like a different crunchy, shape. But you like that it in ass. the middle. You want some crunch, some soft. I I say fruity pebbles is underrated. It's the underrated. I feel like people hate on fruity pebbles because it gets too soggy. But nah, that shit's rocking. I, fruity pebbles is the best cereal to me. Like one, like if you me. pour a good bowl of fruity pebbles, I'm talking about like, like not half the bowl, but like three yeah. fourths of the bowl, and then like. You put some milk in it, but not too much milk. You can't yeah, OD you on can't the milk. You can't fill the milk up. Nah, it got to be. going to be there in the air for a minute. Nah. But to the kids, I don't put that much cereal. Then I eat it so that it doesn't get soggy, and I pour some more some cereal on top. Oh, okay. Hello sugar, but I'm Gucci. Yeah, you feel yeah, me? yeah, yeah. And I just keep so eating you, it that way. So when you ate cereal, you ate two bowls of cereal? Yeah, two or three. Oh, two or three. I mean, like, it depends <laughs> when the milk when the milk go away. Oh, you know okay, okay. Like, oh, until the milk goes away, then yeah, I just keep. Going. Oh, okay. Yeah, unless I'm like, oh, I'm thirsty, and I that sweet that sweet yeah, milk. Yeah, <laughs> I go. Nigga, why don't niggas make that shit? Bruh, cereal milk. No, they did Nesquik. Oh they my had, god, they had cereal I'm bringing milk? that next time for my next episode. You have some Nesqu- you have Yo, cereal milk. it was where did I get it? Me and Steve copped it. One was Cinnamon Toast Crunch Milk flavored Nesquik. Another one was... Oh, I did see that. I did see yeah, that. Yeah, and another one was... Uh, I think I might have sent you a picture low key. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. it was uh, uh, Fruity Pebbles flavored. Yeah, yeah. Fruit Loose flavored. Okay, okay. I did see that. Okay, I did see yeah, that. Yeah, I did yeah, see yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Now, I'm talking about... I'm talking about straight from the thing. I'm talking about like in the factory. You like, get like, a big it, bowl. They mix yes, it and get a big, drain it. Yeah, so you drain that. What are you going to do with all that cereal that's soggy? Nigga, give it to the pigs, bro. To the fucking pigs. What? <laughs> now, my, my last part is... Now, please, I pray you answer this properly. <laughs> please. <laughs> oh, shit. What is better, Fruity Pebbles or Cocoa Pebbles? Fruity Pebbles. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Fruity there are Pebbles. people on this earth who are like, Cocoa Pebbles are the best. Nah, Fruity Pebbles. I'm like, is... it's chocolate. You can get Cocoa Puffs. You can get it any chocolate It tastes like the cereal. same as any, any other chocolate cocoa. cereal. That's what I'm saying. It tastes the same. This is, this is why you're my guy, bro. You know what I'm saying? I can't. Yeah. Feel me? Like, like that's like... Nah, I, nah I feel, it's, like, I can't go for like, because fruity pebbles don't taste like tricks, they, they, bro, and they don't taste like Fruit Loops. It, yeah, exactly. But bro. cocoa puffs taste like cocoa pebbles, and puffs is like a different texture. But the the cocoa pebbles is the taste same like cocoa thing. Puffs. It's all just chocolate. And then your milk turns chocolate when you have fruity pebbles. Your milk turns fruity. You fruity know what I'm saying? Milk. Yeah, it's bro. I'm That's, trying to yo, tell you. We, we here, locked bro. in, bro. We, we locked in, bro. Type bro. shit, bro. Niggas, yeah, niggas, no niggas regular shit. I'm trying to tell. Jay, look at us like we fucking crazy. Yeah, but would you like cocoa pebbles better? Oh my nah, Lord. I can't. That's too much chocolate. Oh my. Yeah. Yo, also, bro, you were telling you were telling me uh, we were talking about the aliens, and I, I have I have to press you. What the fuck is that, Darius? What the fucking bacon mac and? Oh, cheese? that's Jay shit. Yo, <laughs> what? Is that sunflower seeds? Yeah. yeah. Bacon mac and cheese flavor sunflower. Bro, they seeds? got a lot. Yeah. They got they got every yo they got they got Burger King flavor. I don't know how the fuck that's possible. They got char gold burger <laughs> flavor. Y'all be buying this shit. Huh? Y'all be buying this shit? Yeah. Now I don't like seeds. Jay per, Jay likes seeds. Bro, the flavoring is crazy. <laughs> that is wild. Bacon, <laughs> yo, is there bacon bits in there? Nah, it just tastes like bacon mac and cheese. They could have just said. Nah, nah, I can't. I can't <laughs> nah, nah. Yeah. Because I don't really be eating sunflower seeds. I just like. Pause. Suck on this. That's what I do too. <laughs> that's what I do. Bro, that's what I'm saying, bro. Yeah, yeah, feel me? Like, bro, we play yeah. basketball. We can't do all that. Yeah, shit. I can't be chewing on that's the like, That's a baseball that's football. A, that's, that makes sense now. So uh, that's hey. why you so indulge in the flavor. And it just says David on it. That's funny as so. hell. <laughs> is that the brand? David? Yeah, his name is David. What a guy. T- type shit, bro. <laughs> what a guy. Hey, bro. Nah, that's so deep, bro. But I got a question for you now. That was a good segment, though. But yeah, like I'm saying, all that shit. What I said is underrated is underrated. That is crazy. <laughs> but, all right. You have to survive these places for a month. If you survive, you get $100 million. You have okay. to pick which one you're going to survive. It's the safari in Africa or on top of Mount Everest. And you get all the equipment that you need Oh, to survive. Choose wisely now. All the equipment I need? So, you, it's not like you're up there by yourself. You got, like, shit. You got a tent. You got a fucking got the gear. You got oxygen. the gear. You got oxygen. Yeah, you got shit like that. That lasts you for a month. Everest. You taking it at Mount Everest? Everest because on Mount. Oh yeah, Mount, 
Oh, no, 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 no. Safari. Safari, Safari, Safari. I got to make it back down. <laughs> niggas <laughs> scared of the end. Like, because, what the fuck? Because, like, Mount Everest, remember what I told you before? Yeah. Like, niggas go up there and they see niggas dying and just be like, all right. Like, it's done up for you, cuz. Like, but I mean, like, yo, if you go to Safari, they got niggas like. They got lions. They got lions. They got lions. Ba- uh, not lions, bears. Tigers. And, like, yeah. lions, rhinos. <laughs> you know, they got, they got yeah. leopards that hunt at night. That's what I'm saying, Everest. Oh no, I said safari. Yeah, you said safari. Damn. So you gonna you gonna fight them animals? They got snakes too. The safari I, crazy. I, what I got on me? I mean, you could get a you can get a gun, but I'm I mean, not like, gonna lie to you. Everest, that gun bro. not gonna do shit. I think I can make it through Everest because if I got the shit, I just got. That's what I'm saying. If I got a coat, just don't slip. Because if you slip and rip your shit, you're like, damn, cold now. You know, uh, you're dead. You, gotta, <laughs> you also gotta remember they got some strong ass like. Like winds up there, motherfucker. What that should knock me? <laughs> I weigh two hundred forty thousand, bro. You already know. And it's like that's what I say. I don't know, but but I, I, I would Everest. take. I would take. Damn, niggas Everest. gonna come crazy out of it. I'm gonna take Everest though, cause it, so niggas, nah, you know what? I'm gonna take Everest, cause the niggas niggas say they gonna take the safari. You're bugging the fuck. You're not surviving there's, there's against the fucking scorpions, scorpions the snakes, the lions, spiders. the rhinos. You gonna go? You gonna they gonna drink some? Even if you sleep in a tree. A cheetah or a panther? A leopard is going to eat your ass. They can grab your ass up the tree. Make Nigga, you go to the water. You try to get some water from the watering hole, a hippo going to bite you. Crocodiles, yeah, you're bugging out. It's yeah. hot as fuck down there. All I got, it's, Mount Everest, I'll make it down. It's just cold. The weather's shitty. and You just can't I just, slip. It's you all just, on you. It's, all, yeah, on it's you. all on me. You go to safari, it's all on everything else. Yeah, so it's whatever. You got to get lucky. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You just got to get lucky. Make sure niggas don't get you. Yeah. Niggas yeah. was killing me and Jason the other day about saying, <laughs> I'm, about to, hold on, I'm about to go. Nah, fuck out nah, yeah. Bro, niggas said. It's harder to survive in the Arctic than in the jungle. All right. The Arctic? It's harder I, to survive in the Arctic than the jungle? Than the jungle. Nigga, do you nah, know what? it's harder to survive in the jungle, bro. Bro. Wait, do I have shit? Yeah, you got shit. the basic shit to get. Yeah. So it's way harder to survive in the jungle. That's what, bro. Infections, water. You got to cut. You got to clean it. Nigga, like, they got fucking... Bro, then water's not even. If you find a river in the jungle and you drink not, the water, you're gonna throw up. Nigga, fuck that. The, yo, the, pe- <laughs> the 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 people in the Amazon. Oh, shit. I heard there be there be like there's tribes in the in the jungles that we don't even know about. Yeah, yeah, that, that we just don't, be killing niggas. They, for you're fun. not living. Yo, these niggas spiders, was, bugs. You can't drink the water. You can't unless it's from the rain. Exactly. And you better learn how to catch rain and then let let a spider drop in your water and he's poisonous. You done up, bro. Yeah, let the, let that little ass frog come by you. That poison ass, ass frog, bro. Let a panther see you. Bro, let the, one of those niggas see you. walk too far into the jungle, you might get hit with an arrow. <coughs> these niggas talking about, yo, yeah. These yeah. niggas ain't never seen a blade of grass in their life talking about they survived by the Arctic. <laughs> you, you weird ass. I'm like, yo. Weird, I live in the desert. Like, fuck out of like, here. Like, bro. Like, these, I'm saying, like, these, yo, I remember it was some bodybuilding nigga. Had hella followers and shit. Nah, I'm, nigga the had, like, Arctic is way. It's like, just cold. It's just cold. It's not that bad. It's cold. Polar bears. Polar bear. I mean, yeah, they They're can smell. They are crazy, but you know, I can but see. I can see bleed. the polar bear. At least I can see don't the polar bleed. bear. At least and I can see the polar bear. White. You'll be straight, bro. Build the that's igloo. What I'm saying. At least I can see the polar bear coming. Yeah. You're exactly. not gonna see that leopard that's crawling through the trees. Flying. That's what Maybe, I'm saying. Yeah, no. Niggas is crazy, the, bro. The spider that bites you on the ankle. Hey, bro. But all right, I got another question for you. Okay. I'm giving you a button, and if you press that button, you get a random superpower. And a hundred million dollars, but you'll get that tomorrow, right? But as soon as you press that button today, a random con- a random country will get nuked. This nigga is pre- you're pressing the button. Oh wait, random? It could be U.S. It could be, yeah. Oh wait, oh, and it's today, like on on site. So as I press it, once you press no. it, the nukes are shot up into the air. And one country is obliterated. It is getting blown to smithereens. It bro. could be Trinidad. <laughs> But that's like a. I'm not gonna lie. I'm pressing that button. I'm not gonna lie. It's one out of like how many countries? Six thousand, maybe. Like how many? It countries? would really suck if it was like London. <laughs> no, <laughs> wait. What? Wait, wait, let's oh, look that's at, not a country. Wait, but look, it would really suck. Let's if look it was at like, ra- <laughs> the UK. Let's look at a random country generator right now. Random. So if I press, damn, you're pressing the button. I'm pressing the button so right this now. This is you pressing the button. This is me random pressing the button generator. right now. Random country generator right now. I press the button. <laughs> Who's getting? Naru. Where the hell is Nauru at? We're up. We're up. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, they give you country. Yo, button, button, uh, button. Me, button, button me, button me, button Nauru? me. Nauru? What's the what's the population? Where button. is that? Not not uh, that's a this is a country? Nauru Middle East. I got money line Middle East. Nauru. No, it's a Asia. It's a Nauru is a tiny island country in Micronesia, northeast of Australia. Nigga, I'm 
nigga micro. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, nigga. generate another one. I hit the button too, bro. Right, I you hit see, the button too. I need to see what country I just offed. <laughs> <laughs> bro, they literally have a population of ten thousand people. <laughs> nigga, what? Oh, chill. <laughs> 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 oh, shit. That's a lot. All right, random country for Tyrone, but let's see what he blows up. Kazakhstan. Ka- Kazakhstan? Kazakhstan. 18 million people are dead. <laughs> you just kill 18 million niggas. Wait, but I got like... I can fly? <laughs> you could. You got a random superpower. That shit oh, wait. Be... It's a, I don't even get to pick? Nah, it's random. It's random as hell. So you tell me right now, I can just like... But you got $100 million also. Oh. But I mean like you could you could turn... My superpower an... could be like... I could be blind now. No, like, like, like it could some be some daredevil ass shit. shit. Yeah, it could be. Some nah, ass it's not gonna shit. be no ass shit. It's gonna like be super some... smell. Like, like, oh, it might be that. Smell anything? Like that would be really <laughs> ass. That's like. But a, see, that's why you got a hundred million dollars on top of that. So I'm still pressing it though. I'm cooling. I kill less people than you. Damn, would you press it again now though? Well, I press it again. You did it once. Let me try. And you got. Let's run it back. You, all you got was run like. Run it back. Run <laughs> it back. You got some mid. Bahamas. Oh, oh shit. You really tweaked. You tweaked. You tweaked. Oh, shit. A lot of money's been lost. Oh, shit. A lot of money's been lost. Bro, that's. It's mad resorts over damn. here. Damn. Atlantis is over. Damn. Nick, some niggas like, from the Bahamas. Listen to us. You tweaked. You tweaked. I'm yeah. sorry, gang. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, gang. <laughs> but you pressed that button, though. Yeah, I pressed the button. I'm pressing the button. I feel like a lot of people press the button. Yeah. You get, I get a free yeah, superpower? You pressed it twice, though. I know I did. You got two surprises and two hundred million. You know I could. Oh, damn. You that could have obliterated. Like, damn, you could have. What's the worst superpower imaginable? The worst superpower imaginable is um. Supersonic hearing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Supersonic. Why hearing. would you want that? <laughs> like, why would you want that? Like, <laughs> like ah, I can't. Like, Wait, oh, you can't turn it off. No, you just like you. You it's could just, you could hear the conversation like across the room type shit. That would suck. Like, are you dead ass? Like, if a nigga throw a flashbang in the room, I'm dead. Being on a plane, oh, I'm ble- <laughs> my ears bleeding. Like, fuck. Being on a plane would suck. <laughs> exactly the the turbine. That's so ass. Yeah, you can hear a plane right now. You can exactly hear right now. You be bugging. Supersonic super. Nah, Damn, super. So you t- pressed it twice. You might get that. I ain't gonna lie. That and like super smell. Super smell. I'm literally a dog. Like, <laughs> like I'm literally just a dog. <laughs> I've been a dog. Oh my fault. <laughs> <laughs> my fault. <laughs> but but uh but yeah, since we t- all right, now damn. we talk about obliterating countries, bro. I got some you have you been seeing what's been going on around the world, bro? Like with um did you see what happened to Maui, bro? I heard about Maui, the volcanoes or something or bro, fires. Nah, bro, it was a giant like fire that like burnt down the whole countryside, bro. Like burnt down bro, they the whole I, island? It's an island, right? Yeah, they burnt island. down like like a good like sixty percent of the island. Is that one of the islands that is uh Pop- like is like tourists? Like, li- tourists or yeah, is that the, yeah, where yeah. people live? Yeah, tourists? Maui a lot of people go to Maui. Oh, so that's a tourist mm-hmm. island. Oh uh the Hawaiians did that. Huh? You think so? The Hawaiians did that shit. Bro, I'm a, bro, a you know I don't of, fuck with Americans? Why? Because wait, Maui is in Hawaii though. Yeah, bro. They don't like I'm saying the people who live so the other oh, islands. Oh, so the Mar- wait. You ever been to Hawaii before? Yeah, when I was like eight. Oh no, I, I've been to Hawaii when I was like a conscious human being. Oh, so let me let me tell you about how how Hawaiians feel. I fuck with Hawaiians. Let me tell you how they feel about us. They don't want us coming over there. Yeah. Know what I mean? So they speak their own language. Yeah, yeah. Their own culture and all that, right? Mm-hmm. That's tough. But when we go over there, there's islands we can't visit. If you're not a native, you oh, don't have a Hawaiian yeah, yeah, ID. Yeah, yeah. You cannot go. They I heard about beat that. Your ass unless you're changing the vending machine for them. I heard about that. You feel I heard me? about that. Yeah. So they're so, probably like, yeah, they blowing my shit. I'm about to burn this hoe down. And Ryan. So you think America did that shit? Yeah, bro. Because like you gotta think about it. They said what happened was there was a hurricane that came in, and then there was a forest fire that started, and that hurricane mixed with like it became like a firestorm. I'm like. But, but I'm like niggas was talking about they're like they're doing too much, bro. Like first of all, hurricanes and rains. But like they, they said in certain spots, in certain spots of hurricanes, it's like just wind. Just so I'm wind? like, okay. But like I feel like the wind would help put out the fire. That's what I'm thinking in my head, right? But like, you know, math, math is not mathing right now. But yeah, you know, it's we just not got mathing, but we did. We we're here the though. We're here though. And it's like, yo, it's like they showed like the 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 level like of first of all, they showed like hours before like the houses, and then hours after, it should look like. A, a laser they look like that shit got obliterated that shit got ran over my nigga like there was like houses more even, and then look like burnt down that shit like it just got like it ran through su- it would suck to be a nigga in your crib and like hurricane warning alright and then you see a firestorm it's like whoa why is there fire and they're like oh yeah, yeah we're forest fire too cuz bro like it's crazy like I don't tsunami no, bro man. like nigga, I seen a video and like niggas was jumping into the ocean because of how bad the fire was like it was like coming at them like that bro but like I seen some shit, in right? The hurricane, yeah, that's but now peep this, peep this. Conspiracy brain going now. Right, peep this now. I heard that Maui has the 
the world's biggest like alarm system for like shit like that. They have four hundred like like doomsday alarm things. None of them went off. Oh, sus. None of them went off. That's one. Two. There was a picture going around of a literal laser beam that's shooting at the ground, but they debunked it and said it was like a it was like a, sh- a rocket shit that went up. Cool, right? You know that might not be real. It looks like a laser. It might not be real, but if we look at every other like fire or natural that that shit that happened over the last couple of years, it looked like it started in an instant. Like it looked like like if they look oh, at the like laser the, and then it in- yeah. Ignited. If they look if you look at Canada, right? When that shit happened, they said. I forgot it was like an anti woman shit. She like started a forest fire, but it, like when you see it, it looked like it just like combusts like right there. And then even there was a forest fire in, in California, in 2016. Like they show images from up top. They look. I don't know if this is real or not, but they literally seen a laser go like this, and it just ignited the whole shit. And then people think Could be niggas testing out weapons, bro. Bro, people think it's like a it's like a directed energy like laser or whatever. Oh yeah, for sure. I'm because saying, people think like from a satellite. Yeah. And, like, people think that shit can't be real, but, like, niggas had that in, like, 2002. They was testing it out. So, imagine. That was, like, 20 years ago. Imagine what they, they perfected that shit. But, uh, but also what niggas is saying is that, that we're, we have been, we have evolved into a different type of warfare that we are not really accustomed to. Like, think about it. Einstein said it best, bro, that every war is going to progress. Like, you know, mm-hmm. he said the fourth war is going to be, like, bombs and shit, but the fifth war is going to be fought with sticks and stones yeah, and shit like that. But, he, like, think about it. We think war, when we think of war, we think of World War II. We're invading a com- country, all that shit. But imagine it's something different. Imagine it's something like all the media is trying to like focus our attention away from it. And they're trying, they're like fighting us like undercover. Like think about it. The derailing in Ohio with that chemical thing, all the, all the food plants that have been blowing up in Texas, they just, just random factors just been exploding for no reason. Imagine niggas like Russia and China really just like attacking us. And we're just, they're trying to keep us under wraps because they have it controlled because they don't want us to like stress like, oh, we're in war right now. Especially we got the recession going on. Imagine, imagine that's part of it. definitely war. Bro, imagine that's part of it. Think about cyber warfare. supervisor, he just, he's um, in the army or Marines or something like that. Yeah. He has to leave in October. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. We might be in war, bro. Like they, he's like, yeah, I'm going to have to, because like we all have the same duty rotation. He has to leave. Since he, if he has to leave. For what, my boy? I thought we was done with this. That's shit. That's what I'm shit. saying. I thought we wasn't in Ukraine. Like, like nah, I gotta get ready to kill niggas. So. Like, just, I don't even think it's that, bro. I think it's some other shit. I heard. I don't think it's Ukraine. I think it's China, bro. China and like Russia. Ukraine's about to lose. I don't know if you heard about it. Not Ukraine. China is um, within like six years. Mm-hmm. They're gonna be unsustainable for their population because they got too many people. Too many people because they be lying about their population. That was Trump was talking about. Shout yeah. out to my guy. But I'm saying, <laughs> but I'm saying is. They were um, doing that, so basically, they're gonna. Ha- that's that's why they're gonna force a war somehow. Really, just it's, to like just makes to boost their economy so they can get more resources because war creates economy. Mm-hmm. And we're also in a recession. Every time we have a recession, we go to war. We had a recession um, early two thousands, Iraq, then mm-hmm. Afghanistan, two thousand eight. Even in the depression after right after the depression, World War Two happened. You bro, gotta think. Imagine they did that shit on purpose. Imagine, bro. It up. bro imagine we got everything is online now. Like one good hacker could literally cut down everything as soon as we swipe. That shit, we ain't not. We don't have no money in the bank. One good hacker could do that to the entire country. You don't think? You don't think Russia don't got one of those niggas? I'm not you don't lie. think we don't got one of those niggas? You don't think I'm one of those niggas? Type shit. I'm saying. Like, like yeah. how could you know? I'm saying, bro. I'm saying niggas is going. Stupid. Like I, I think know. all these things is like I feel like like especially with the Maui shit with like the the shit the derailment of that train in Ohio that blew up. All the factors that's been blown. I feel like it's all. Clues. I feel yeah. like it's all connected in some way, bro. Because yeah, it's weird. Me. There's no way. Even even the Canada fire is low key. Because even Are they still on fire. I don't. I don't fucking know. I really don't know. Like there's so many like weird shits that's been happening. A lot of shit just been just blowing up out of nowhere. And nobody's telling us why. And they just saying like, oh, it's just natural disasters. Nah, nigga. I feel like y'all. <laughs> I feel like y'all fighting, and we're just in the crossfire. Y'all niggas not telling us shit, bro. <laughs> like, come on, cuz. Nah, Ain't sure. no way. Ain't no way shit like that go going like that, bro. Yeah, it's us as fuck. Niggas, bro. You're supposed to be the op, bro. You're supposed to be helping us out, man. Bro, I took a hiatus, bro. Nigga took a hiatus for being an op, bro. <laughs> how the fuck is that even possible? You got any so, more you got any more um topics to talk about? Yeah, bro. You know how I hate crackheads, bro? Yo, you saw a bunch of, yo <laughs> Nigga said I hate I know a crackhead better than you. Who? And what? <laughs> oh, you're crazy, you're crazy. Don't <laughs> I don't have to tell you about that. <laughs> 
<laughs> you're wild. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. You're crazy. I sent it to you, right? You did. Yeah. No, no, no. I seen it before you sent it to me. Oh, I was gonna, say, I was gonna send that to you. I was like, damn. I was about to be like, yo, my ass. <laughs> I'm like, nigga. How do you get to your home? I'm like, nigga. You got niggas, went home before you went home. I know, nigga. Took my dream. You asked, bro. <laughs> I said that shit to Russ. I said, yo, Russ. Like, I don't know. I was like, wow. That's hey, shout out my shout out my guy though. I don't think he's ever gonna watch this, but I hope not. <laughs> hope not, bro. Type shit, bro. <laughs> hey, man. But you got you got anything? You said um, you hate crackheads. Yeah. Uh, what? Nah, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I think a crack. Yo, <laughs> we was. I was I putting have, up. I I was putting up zip ties, right? Mm -hmm. And then a lady walked by, and then, you know you got to put it through the through the thing. Mm -hmm. She went over to the the fence, like I was put. You got to put it through the fence, and you got to tie it. She was going to the fence. She was about to grab. I said, I pulled back. I said, Nah, you. Good. I'm like, I'm okay. She said, No, nah, I got you. I said, Nah, I'm good. I'm good. I felt bad. I'm like, Dang. I hope she was. I hope she wasn't a normal human being. I treated her like a crackhead. You know, I did, bro. I was like, I said, the well, fuck. you like put it through, and she, she was like, oh, I got you. Yeah, yeah. I said, I reel back mad quick. I said, hold the fuck up. I'm like, yeah, niggas is <laughs> niggas is dying, bro. You're different. <laughs> you're different. Hey, bro. No, nah, you're different, bro. Um, I do have a question for you. What's up? I forgot where I saw this at. I'm scared. From a movie. Which movie? Oh, I forgot the name of the movie. It was on Netflix, though. I just watched it with my girl. It's um. They call so Tyrone. No. Great film. Great film. Great film. <laughs> Great happening film. right now. But in the, Newark. It's in Newark. That little bit that little Greghead scared Dear me. Dear Tyrone J, as is this email projected final course in this grade is a what? <laughs> Niggas looking at his grades right now, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you got your final grade? Hold up. Come on, show me the C. <laughs> I ain't never seen a nigga's laugh you get a C, bro. Uh, Come on, man. I'm about to get a C. Let's go. All right. That's all, that's all I wanted to hear. That's all you wanted to hear? That's all I ever wanted. Type shit, like, bro. Hey, bro. It's a pass. You got to finesse your way. Yo, kids, if y'all going to college, if you're watching this, you're going to college this, this semester or this upcoming fall, it's not that hard. Don't stress about it too much. Just, just do your work. You know what I'm saying? You can go out, have fun a little bit, that do all that shit. Up. Make sure you do your work before you go out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, bro. Stay on top of your And it's not that bro. hard. Especially nowadays, you got AI technology, nigga, right now. Yeah, well, bro, this... Just got a C. It was my last undergraduate class. I didn't care about my GPA. All I needed is that C. Yeah. So I could get that paper. I'm already mature. My, I'm already registered for grad school and all uh -huh. that. It just I just need that to finish. But so you you done with that class already, right? Yeah. That was the last quiz I took. Congratulations, yeah. guys. I'm officially a graduate grad graduate. student. Yeah, oh, I officially uh, have a degree now. Okay. Yeah. I didn't really have one. Yeah, I was, shit done. Yo, I was think, lying to niggas. Y'all be playing your bios. Oh, uh, Rutgers 2000. I didn't even post my grad picks or nothing. Because I ain't get my shit yet. So oh, so I really you, don't, you don't want to lie? Yeah, like say I di say I like didn't pass the class. Oh, <laughs> niggas be like, oh, you didn't really. But go. yo, where's your shit though? I came to your crib. I ain't see the diploma. <laughs> I've been asses up. Hey but yo, bro. I was gonna say it's from a movie. So, would you donate years off of your life mm -hmm. for money? So mm, I did see that movie. So basically, like how um, if you donate ten years, if you donate fifteen years right now. You'll get seven hundred thousand dollars, or a, put a million dollars. You'll get a million dollars, right? If you donate fifteen years right now, but you're gonna jump from your age right now plus fifteen years, or oh. you can donate five years. So if I, oh, so like I get older too. Yeah, but so you can oh, donate that's what that means. Years. Yes, so you can oh. donate five years right now, but, but you'll get, get. I'll be. 20, you'll get a hundred thousand dollars, but I'll get like, but I'll be like twenty something. Yeah. You're going to look and feel like your body's going to turn into mm. that. You don't go forward. Your body just goes forward in time. How much I get for a year? Like 50K? For one year? For one year, you're getting like... 10K? 10K. It's not even worth it for you. Is it worth it for a year? Nah. You know what? I feel like I wouldn't... <sighs> or how many years would you donate? If it's per year, it's like... But it's like a you know a gradually increasing rate. So you do five years, you get yeah. 100K. But you do 10 years, you'll get like 400K. You know, fifteen. You get it. You personally, know, me, I feel there. like time is more valuable than money. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Real shit. But for the sake of the question, I think <laughs> I would do max. The least I would do is a year. I'll get. I'll get older. Yeah, I'll turn like 25. I can, I'll take the quick 10k. You know what I'm saying? I can. I can. I can flip that shit. You know what I'm saying? 10k. I can flip that. The I most. I, it, if you do two years, the most I'm doing is like five, seven. I can't do more than five. I can't. Yeah. I don't even think I could do. Yeah, five is like five you is do five years. You're like 
Bro, you just missed out on a whole section of your life. That's bro. what I'm saying. <laughs> you, know, you just missed out on Max. Like, I love, oh, nah, I might be, th- I might just, I might be chatting. I'm maybe three. <laughs> yeah, that is a tweet. big, that's a portion of your I life. I couldn't do 10. Like, so in the movie, it was like the kid turned 18. It was like, donate 15 years. You missed out on your whole 20s. Yeah, no, nah, that's and, so and ass. a lot of your 30s. I don't give a fuck. Like, I mean, There's like, no shot. you living good. Like, now you're 33 and you yeah, got like a million. Yeah, you didn't get to have fun. Yeah. Your life I mean, up. you could get fun. You could have fun still at 30 some. Yeah, but like, you miss out on your 20s. I guess. 20, like, I've never heard an adult tell me that like, the 20, their 20s wasn't their best time in their life. That is true. That is true. You feel me? So but I mean, like, now you got all this bread. Your 30s could be your best time in your life. <laughs> but like... But is it? It's just me changing, right? It's but not it's, like me going into the future. No, it's just you changing. You're okay. not going to the future. So like, your parents stay the same age. Your girls stay the same age. Your friends stay the same age. You just look older and are like an older being. Like your knees hurt J- more and shit. I think Jay will still like me if I'm like thirty something. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <He's> like, yeah. <laughs> hey, nah, I, nah. The most, the most though, is three years, three four years max. Uh, that's that's like what twenty twenty five. I might. I wouldn't even do a year, but if I had, like, they're like, yo, you got to donate something. I'll do two. Two? two? Years. I need 20K. Two years. I'll do two years. I'll two years? Because what's the difference? Right? You know what I mean? There, I know niggas, yo, I know niggas that would do 10K off the rip with no hesitation, bro. I know niggas. What? Who do, like, that would, I'll be like, yeah, I'll take, 10, I'll take 10 years off. I'm like, give me 100, whatever. How yeah, much? give me the brat. Yeah. <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's a good concept for a movie. You know what the movie, you remember what the movie's called? I don't remember. That wasn't Inception, was it? Nah, everybody died though at the end. Damn, really? Yeah, I just spoiled that tweet. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Make it just start giving away they shit. Yeah, the secrets of the movie. Yeah, no. Wow, I don't remember. Yeah, now that's a tough. Dang, that sounds like a tough movie though. Yeah, it was. It was a good movie. All right, all right. Yeah, all right, I got another. I got another question for you, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, let me make sure this shit's straight. All right, so since you are op, right? Mm-hmm. Now you're not the ops. What do you think is hard? Ho- what do you think if you're being chased by the cops, right? Would you rather be chased on foot or in a car? And they are in they are also on foot running and they are also in a car after you. Which one are you choosing? Which one you think you could outrun the out foot evade you think you could outvade the cops on feet? Yeah, I'd be seeing videos of niggas trying to run away from I'm not gonna lie to you. If I was in some heat, say I'm in like Miami. Yeah. I was just like, Oh, sit your black ass down. Like, oh you guys get down on our filming and I'm like, damn. Yeah, God starts surrounding me, I'm out of there. It's too easy. <laughs> so it's a foreign area So you're running Hit a quick juke Once you get past one Them niggas got stuff on them Ah uh, You got a vest A gun A this I mean a gun tweak Yeah But I'm saying You got shit on them So you tell I'm t- going Make a right Hop a fence Hop another fence Make another right Make a left You feel me Too That's many a- turns and dips and jumps I ain't gonna lie You said You just did a circle Like I'm not gonna lie to you You, said, shit. you said two right you He just- didn't know that Oh he didn't know that He so didn't even know that That was part bro. of your job Just fucked his head up Oh so he thought he was going I'm straight. hopping fences and shit So it's like how am I back at the beginning? Because now all the cops left where I originally uh, was. You so, know what I'm so you tell me if you like in a like say you had a party, you didn't realize it was a crack house. Oh shit! And now like the cops, hey everybody get down! Y'all getting arrested? Diving through the window. <laughs> I'm and I'm going. I'm hopping the fence. I'm going. They have to chase because they, one they can't chase all of us. Yeah. But now in a whip, you're too easy to get caught. Exactly. They can cut you off. They can corner you. Yeah. And then a helicopter pull up. Now what? Now what? And now it's slow for you. But if a helicopter pull up on foot. So you could hit an alley. I already know I got a whole mental shit in, in, in Newark right now in my head. I could hit an alley, bust a left. There's a little uh, catwalk I could climb. Go in through this little abandoned building. Feel me? Now the helicopter which, can't which, see you. Which they building? Don't know when you're coming out. You know, on your way to Dario's? Yeah. You bust a little left. Like that little Oh, yeah, Spanish yeah, yeah, spot. yeah, 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 yeah. If you go up the catwalk, that up there is like boarded up and abandoned. So you tell me, it. but like... <laughs> yeah, you, you You walked into that little alleyway. Yeah, bro. I had to go in there one time. I had to take a piss. And <laughs> Krausers didn't have a bathroom for me. Yeah. And I just had, I really had to pee. I wasn't going to run all the way all to Dario. So all right. So say, say you're in Union, though. That's a little. Foot. Still foot, though. Too many fences, bro. You, oh, you just going to be jumping niggas' fences in the backyard? Jumping. Are you going to run in the woods? Oh, I'm going straight to the swamp. Straight to the swamp, right? Straight to the swamp. Nah, maybe not the swamp, though. That, that, that shit going to get. I mean, you're going to go be in the swamp, like the water? Oh, that's part of You know the path, bro. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Hit the path. There's a little, there's two routes on the path. I'm yeah. taking the one we don't take. <laughs> oh. Feel me? Because that one's less like shit. Yeah, yeah. When I'm running, when I bust a little corner, I'm going to duck into a, a bush mm-hmm. and throw something in front of me so they think I'm still running. Yeah. You don't run right past me, bro. Type shit. I think, yeah, I think I'm either going to. I'm taking I'm, foot or car. I'm taking foot. 
Oh, I'm running. I'm running on foot. I feel like if I can make it to the the woods, they're not gonna catch me. But it's like if they're waiting for me outside of this shit, and they're going like that might be it. But I feel like I'll get further on feet than like in a car mm. type shit. Yeah. Like, like do you remember? Did I ever tell you that story when that nigga almost got arrested? No. Dang, my mom gonna hear this. I didn't do nothing wrong. I promise. Damn, bro. We was coming back he from the walk. Yo, it was me. I think Ish was there. I can't remember. Which? No, nah, not. Um. Was there? Jabri was there. Yeah, Dre got me Tay, too. Go ahead. huh? You almost got me arrested too. Go ahead, bro. So we, <laughs> so we walk it. So the, you know, the white uh, closed at ten o'clock. Mm-hmm. So we're walking up to the Seven Eleven. You know, walking the street. You know, next to the the YMCA, there's a retirement home. Mm-hmm. So like they threw out a TV with a remote, and I was like, yo, you know, uh, hey everybody, watch this. I was like, yo, watch this. He picks up the remote. A fat ass truck comes by, launches it at the truck. They said, bing. Nigga said. The, the truck literally turned around. He made a big ass. Like, he didn't even stop. He did a fat ass U-turn. Nigga, I dipped. I ran through the... I ran... You know the, you know that woods in between the, the, the Y and the... Mm-mm. Nigga, I, I bucked it. I was... Bu- going to the other side yeah, behind it. Yeah. Bro, I was running through that shit. It was me and Ish. And this nigga... Yo, niggas was scared of shit. Because <laughs> I remember... It was me and Ish and Kyle. We was booking it through. We was like, nah. Niggas is tweaked. Dre, J, uh, Dre, Jabri, Tay, and them. They went to the woods where... uh. Uh, what's that park called? It was crazy. They came to my house right after that. Are you serious? I know exactly what story you're talking about. Bro, niggas went to the. You remember hospital park? Niggas yeah. went to those woods and hid over there. Me, 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 and Ish, and then we went. We went to the like the Seven Eleven. Like nothing happened. Yeah, and hit like, right, like we was just chilling. But we seen cop cars going down. We was like, oh nah. I'm thinking, bro. I'm like in high school. I'm thinking, yo, we gotta get arrested we're for that up. shit. Yeah, they about to search some random. Ass I was camera. so scared, bro. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? But yeah, I was. That was crazy. But you said you said Makai got almost got you arrested too. Damn. Was it? Damn, I can't even I can't even say this one, bro. Why it's too bad? Nah, it's OD. <laughs> nah, it's too incriminating, not just for me. <laughs> There's niggas involved. In this shit. All right, we're not even gonna talk about. Yeah, it. I can't even. Put New subject. Yeah, can't we didn't even it. talk about. I, I was name dropping like shit. Yeah. <laughs> God damn. Yeah. Hey, it's okay. That was like almost ten years ago, type shit. <laughs> but I got one more question. So, you have to survive 24 hours stuck in a house mm-hmm. against one of these things for half a billion dollars. So, you have to survive 24 hours, and you get to pick which one you're going to survive it with. I'm a survivor. Let's go ahead. Let's it's see. either a serial killer, a demon, a horde of zombies on the outside trying to get in and killing you. You have weapons. I have or a backpack? You can have weapons, but you have to stay in the house. Like you cannot, Or a giant monster trying to kill you. But you have weapons. You have weapons for the, the zombies and the monsters. So you can get the monster up out of here. I'm not doing that one. It's I'm not up. doing that. That's going to break a wall and shit. That I shit going to burst it I'm through. I'm already like, not a, the quickest of dudes. You feel me? So yeah. it's done up for him. Nah. Not me. <laughs> not the giant. Not the monster. I'm not going to lie to you. The serial killer? No. I'm not doing it. Maybe. I'm not he's doing already it. in or he's like basically breaking in and he's about to come kill No, him. He, he's like, he's on the... Pro- like you ever watched... um. What was that movie? Uh, what was that movie with that with that uh, that deaf girl in the middle of the woods? Yeah. It was on Netflix. Hush. Um, yeah. It was like that. Like he's like stalking on the outside and he's coming in the crib trying to kill you type shit. Nah, I mean, see, with me, when niggas try to break into my crib or something or my house, I honestly feel like it's just a test. Like there's just a, now I'm fighting a random nigga. Yeah. You feel me? Now it's different if it's like somebody trying to find my mom or my girl. I'm like, no, they're in danger. But I'm like, me, you're testing my gangster. Yeah, you feel me? But he has—he's a serial killer. He's, he's a serial killer. He's, he's used, used to, used to killing, killing niggas. I'm not used to killing niggas. So I'm gonna slide him off. Yeah, I'm not doing so that. I'm not doing that one. These demon or a giant or a horde Here's of zombies. Here's the thing about the demon. Yeah, demons. I am. Why, why do you say I'm covered by the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ? Of course. So demon really can't phase me. It can't. So it's not really fair for me to pick the demon. I would pick the demon, and I would be perfectly safe. The so demon can throw a knife at you. I'm protected by the Lord Jesus Christ. That knife is piercing. Your <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> feel me? You don't have the arm. All I need is a Bible. He's done up. You feel me? Like I'm, that like, knife is gonna go cross past the Bible. <laughs> Not, yeah. You feel you know me? What I'm saying. So like, the demon isn't fair because like, for example, like when my my sister used to always use a Ouija board in the crib, like all the time. Did it work? And I ain't gonna lie, like. Shit would be going stupid. 
She used to get crazy. But I never tripped, though. Uh huh. Like, because I'm like, all right, bro. Feel me? I just like, look at I'll be like, bro, feel me? Yeah. Where grandma at? Feel me? Talk to <laughs> grandma. Grandma's like, start praying and shit. Feel me? We good. Feel me? I'm okay, protected. Okay, okay. But it wouldn't be fair because that's too free. That's so too free. I'm going to go. The zombies, though. Here's the thing about the zombies they're coming into the crib. You tell me you can hold them off for 24 hours. How many zombies is it? Or what? Not how many. What zombies? Oh, Don't say Black Ops. Nah. Oh, damn. That's, that's, I was going to say, but I'm not going to say Black Ops. I'm going to just say your average zombie. So basically, you cut their head run, off, they're dead. They can, okay, but they can run a little bit. They can jog, you know. They can but do not a little, OD. They're, they're, they're coming in hot, though. Okay, a pretty, pretty. I'm talking about like every hour there's a new. A base zombie. A base zombie. Yeah, every hour a new, new wave, new wave coming shit, in. Type shit. I'm not doing that. Dolo? Yeah, you dolo. I'm not going to lie. I'm picking the demon. I'm not going to lie to you. He's just gonna scare me a couple of times. He might he might turn Boom. the lights up. Yeah, he's gonna scare the shit out of me. Like he might he might throw my ass down the stairs. He might drag me and shit. Like, but you know, I can like I can't fight back, but I just gotta withstand twenty four hours of damn of torture. torture. <laughs> of torture. Mental torture yeah. and trauma I'm and not physical lie. abuse. I'm not <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I think I go with the zombies, bro. Cause the zombies the top floor is good. I stay on the bottom floor until I can't anymore. Yeah, I have an hour to prepare for the next wave. Keep mm-hmm. boarding up, boarding up, and then like I have a gun. Yeah, you got weapons. So I'm a film. I'm a shoot out. You got. I'm Dolo though. There's four different. There's different entry points, bro. Yeah. Niggas can come yeah. through the basement. Niggas come through back door, windows. I think I go serial killer, bro. Serial lie. killer? Nah, I can't. I'm, I'm oh no, hold. the demon. Demon's too easy, bro. But I'm telling you, you can't. He can. I'm put- gonna be making fun of him. He like, I'm be like, I'm be like, fuck lame ass nigga. You can't phase me, but I'm going to heaven regardless of what you do to me. You feel me? Like, I find demons funny. I find it funny. Like, ghosts and demons, I find yeah. it funny. Because I'm like, yo, you can't. You can't really affect you me. You can't do nothing to me, bro. Oh, I can't wait for this. Try this, a little harder. This, uh. <laughs> the apocalypse? Nah. You're different. I'll tell you at the end. Oh, yeah. But, yeah. So, you go, I'm not, serial killer, I'm going to die. I feel like he's going to catch me lacking. I'm going to hide a little bit too much. I'm going to get cornered. I'm going to fucking die. Monster. I was about to say, what do you think about Monster? Monster, he's throwing, he's killing me off the rip. Because he can just go through a wall, bro. That's what I'm saying. If I trap him in the basement, unless I trap him in the basement, but I'm not that, I'm not too, like, crafty for that shit. I'm not crafty. Yeah. I'm not that crafty. Hey, you're a little nimble, so feel me, you can, you're kind of quick. I I am, but, like, that means I got to, I got to, like, phase through shit, trying to, like, oh, like, like, get out the way. Like, I have to, like, I have to, like, bait him to get in downstairs, and I have to find, like, an entry, like, an exit way out of there. Circle around. Like, I have to do, yeah, yeah so, I, I don't know if I could do all that. That's too much work. I'm good. telling you, the demon is not that bad. I, I'm not going to be able to sleep all night. Okay. Low key zombies, I just lock myself in like a closet. What you know, nigga? What if they find you in that closet? Shh. <laughs> be <laughs> quiet. Bro. I'm, be, I'm being nearly. What the fuck? Nah, it's over. If they find me, like, that's <laughs> what I'm saying. Like it's over for you. I feel like I'm. I think I'm. I think I'm gonna choose the demon, bro. If anything, I just mentally I'm gonna be fucked up. I'm gonna be very scared. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna get shit hurled at me a couple of times. It might hurt. Like I might get like. Like some creepy shit might happen. Yeah. All the lights might go off one day, and like I'm just gonna be like in pitch black. I'm scared of the dark too. Like that's one of my big. I really am scared of the dark. I be thinking you're scared of the dark. Yeah, I'm scared of the dark. Type shit. You, but like I'm. I realize got, you're a grown man. I've right? got. I've gotten better though. Like I've gotten better. Like you sleep with a nightlight, bro. I sleep with that lamp on. Yeah. Why is Jay pointing? <laughs> oh, at me? Like, pointing weird? Me. Why is he being weird? <laughs> Why is he pointing? Weird. At I thought you were asleep over there. Yo, yo, tell me you. So when you went laser tag and the lights shut off. Oh no! Oh no! I'm cool with that. Like if there's people around me, I'm cool. Oh, you need protection. Yeah, I'm cool. Like if, like, right, so if Jay sleep on my crib, I don't have the light on. Wait, tell me. But like if I'm like bomb, if I'm dope, like in, in UJ crib, I was thinking about thinking. I was thinking about having the lights on. Yo, when but you, I did. When we slept in UJ's crib, no, nah, I had the lights off. You had the lights off. I had the lights off. Yeah, I was what? type scared first couple minutes though. But I had it's the lights on. I was like, oh shit, it's dark as fuck in here. But I'm like, yeah, nah, nah. That's why you was about to sleep downstairs on the couch. No, nah, no. Nah. Because niggas was going to be there. <laughs> nah. I just, nah. like, I be just thinking, like, yo, what if, like, I open my eyes, there's just, like, a figure just standing there. That scared the shit out of me. I don't think you're, I don't think your sister's afraid of the dark. No, she's not. Like, she's not. <laughs> she's not. She's Does not. your mom know you're afraid of the dark? Yeah, yeah. They know. Like, it's been, like, I had a nightlight since, I think the last time I didn't have an, like, I think I just grew out of, like, not, like, I was, I wasn't able to sleep in the dark till, like, maybe 
I was me- nah. I mean, I still <laughs> sleep still with that shit. <laughs> I still don't sleep with that. But it's like brain started melting. But it's like, hold on. It's like I got com- like it got comfortable when I was like eighteen, seventeen, eighteen. All right. Yeah. So you tell me. <laughs> Wait. What? Wait. You're not lying. <laughs> Wait, why? In AAU, bro, you definitely used to sleep with a light on. But no, <laughs> no, 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 no way. I did, wait, 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 wait. I might have maybe one night just like you know, fake left the light on. Like, <laughs> but but it's not like it's not like, but like niggas sleep with the TV on, right? There's not there's no nigga in this world that sleep in pitch black darkness. Me, you sleep. So you tell me well, before you go to sleep, you turn the TV off. Yes. Why? The TV <laughs> off, my computer off, the lights off. Nah, you're and bugging. And go to sleep. You're bugging. And then I wake up in the morning. I sleep with the blinds open, though. So, like, the moonlight is hitting? There's no moonlight in Newark. But. I mean, yeah. I mean, like, <laughs> like, but, like, that's... Cr- I like, mean, only because I like this. The sun wakes me up, so I won't wake up past nine. Okay. But. Okay, but, like... So, you tell me... Nah, I can't. I, I have to have the TV. I have the TV on. I go, to, t- I go to sleep with, to SpongeBob every night. You know, you and Corey... <laughs> you and Corey. Corey de- Corey's afraid of the dark as well. Yo, I scared. Oh my gosh. I'm about to out him. I'm about to out him right now. <laughs> Yo, me and Corey was living together in the dorms, bro. I remember, I'm like, Yo, why did Corey. He sleeps with his door open every night. Yeah, door open. Night. I used to, but then Jay told me that show used to be crazy. That is kind of, I mean, I door open is a little scarier than. Yeah, the, it, 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 what, the I remember, off. bro, I had, a, I, had a, I had a mirror right here. So I could, perf- like, if I look in the mirror, I could like, perfectly see your dad walk into the bathroom. You just see a big ass. That, yeah, that, I, I seen that one time, scared the shit out of me. <laughs> so scared. I, was, I was so scared. It's just, but like, Jay told me, I was like, yeah, why don't you just close the door? I'm like, oh, yeah, that's, smart idea. It, but wait, one night, if I open that shit's open, I'm. Yeah, I'm, you're done up. I'm done. I would say so. Corey, right? He sleeps with the door open and the lights on. So I'm like, bro, every night, like no matter what it is, we could have came back and he could have slept early. Walk to the sink and I'm like, what the fuck is Corey doing? I'm like, bro. And then Aunt, our other roommate, was like, yo, bro. He was like, nah, bro. He's probably afraid of the dark or something, like a little bitch. For yeah. me, that's what he's saying. So I'm like, Corey's afraid of. The-. I'm like, no way, no BS, bro. I was like, bro, let me check on my man. I'm like, bro, he fell asleep early. Feel me looking out for your man's. Yeah. Turn the lights off. Close the door. Feel me. Make, feel me, make sure he's tucked in and shit. Feel me. I was like, core good, right? Close yeah. the door. Go in my room. I'm laying in there in my room. And before I fall asleep, like, I'm going to bed now. And I'm just scrolling on my phone. Yeah. I, ah, ah, ah. I'm like, <laughs> what the heck? I'm like, yo, what? And I hear the door slide. He's like, yo, who the fuck turned my lights off, bro? And I literally come out. And he's like his eyes red, and he's like like low key sweating. Like his his face is starting to get like moist. And I'm like, you good? He said, he said, bro, don't do that, bro. Turn the light back on. He said, he said, bro, because I didn't know where I was at. I'm like, nigga, you go <laughs> sleep in your bed. Like, and then after that, like anytime he falls asleep, we mess with him. Like if you mess with us, we'll be like, alright bro, you go to sleep and turn the lights off. And then like that'll be a threat to him. Like, <laughs> like I'm telling you, bro. Like Corey doesn't. He can't. Like he can't. Like, See, now I'm not. He that needs bad, the lights though. bright. He needs that light on. Now I'm I'm not that bad though. But like what I, I do sleep with like an eye mask on. So I do sleep with an eye mask oh, on. You're losing what? <laughs> oh my god, bro! Do you understand? You're so contradictory. Like you're I, the I, worst. I, I, <laughs> you're the worst. Wait, you say I don't want to see nothing, but I need the lights. On. That's like you know what I'm saying. But like you yourself in the head with a bulletproof vest. Bro, it, <laughs> that's literally like that is like, that is the dumbest. Bro, shit. but it's like you got. <laughs> Bro, it's like I'm not a like when people are scared of the dark, they're not scared of the actual dark. Except Corey. Corey's afraid. Niggas is scared of what's in the dark. So I'm saying if a nigga pull up on me in my room, I can see in the room, bro. I can see cuz you know, there's a nigga in the room, you have more things to worry about than not seeing him. Like how do you get there, bro? Bro, I need to know, bro. Has there ever been a mysterious figure in your room? I thought one maybe one time it was, but I, I think it was a dream. A lot of weird shit happens, bro. I be scared, bro. I, I, I it's dark? To, yeah, bro, I remember. Now, nah, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> oh, damn, I'm really exposed myself right now. But I gotta go through it now. I was gonna say it. Yo, don't fall asleep near me, bro. Nah, like... <laughs> <laughs> this is Turn crazy. Off, I don't think I ever told you this either. <laughs> this is wild. This is wild. You get my hands up, bro. I... The, you know... <laughs> <laughs> you that up. Yeah. You know... You we know... I. Right, what age did you stop sleeping with your parents? <laughs> <laughs> this thing is about to say I didn't stop sleeping with my parents Until I met Jay <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you bro I stopped sleeping with my mom <laughs> Like 
probably fourth or third grade. Fourth or third grade? So that's like what eight nine? Okay, it's not that bad. I was but like, it was like half on half off consistently. Like there was no more sleep. My mom was like fifth grade for sure. But like third grade, that's why I'm like, oh, nah. I'm not even gonna lie. Like second grade, nah. I'm not gonna lie. Hold on, run that back. <laughs> nah, I'm not gonna lie, bro. I was definitely in the first grade. When did Jose start coming over? Probably like the first grade, low key, bro. Bro, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, yeah, it was like the first grade. What the hell are you talking I, about? I think I stopped. I stopped sleeping with my parents. I think, I re, I don't remember. I think it was eleven. That's when I stopped. Like I remember. Wait, eleventh grade? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> eleven, eleven years old. Like I remember. What grade is that? That's like. Is that sixth grade? Fifth, sixth grade. That's like fifth or sixth grade. It was six. I think it was sixth grade. That's when I first. Cause I remember. I remember my seventh grade birthday. My parents redid my room about. and gave me a TV. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. That, 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 that nigga up there, yeah. Both of those. Da- Wait, no, no, that, not, the, that's the last there. That's the last. Yeah, <laughs> not Wait. the one on the right. That one. No, that 2011. One. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe it was a little. Maybe it was the year before Wait, that. Both of them. Wait, when was when like, was I would, like I go when lie, was your sister born, bro? My my sister was born 2005. No, oh shit, I'm fucking crazy. It was 2004. <laughs> it was 2004. But I'm saying, like, my I used to sleep in the in the She's in my parents' is Kelvin. No, 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 we, no. She couldn't have been born 2004. Yeah, she was. Kelvin maybe was two, maybe 2000. Fuck. Yo, you're bad, <laughs> no, bro. 2005. I think it's two, no, it can't be. It has to be 2006. It has to be bro. no, no. It has to be 2000. Because my cousin Bryce was born 2003, and then Libby was born the next year after that. So I think it was 2000. I think it was 2004. It was 2004. Kelvin was born in 2003 or four. Yeah. Kelvin's a junior in college, bro. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so, all right, so eight, no, it, no, it was no. 18 minus two, 2005, 2005. There's no way. Yeah. She was born in 2005. She's 18. Yeah, she's 18. I mean, she's a I know, bro. grown woman. But like, yo, Damn. Me, I used to sleep in my da- in my parents' room with my mom and my and Libby. And my dad used to sleep in my room. By your dad, because you, you yeah. big ass. Yeah. <laughs> your mom used to make sure y'all two niggas were safe. It makes sense for your little sister, bro. Nah, but like if you said your little sister was sleeping there until she, until you was until she was eleven, now yeah, it's a little different. Nah. But like you was a going, going to basketball practice and I, shit. Like I remember, <laughs> but like then they started integrating me into sleeping like by they're like, myself. They're like, All right, Darius. So they used to sleep, I used to sleep in my bed, but then my dad used to come sleep next to me, and then he would leave in the middle of the night. And then when I noticed, I would be like, yo, where the fuck are you going? And then he came back and slept next to me. Yeah, it's crazy. It got crazy. Oh, he's sleeping. Okay. He got, they didn't pick you up and then drop you in the bed. Nah. <laughs> it got critical. Yeah, it was, it was getting critical. 11, bro? I was scared. I had a little nightlight that I used to plug in Time in there. Out. You went to eight. Yo. So you told me. Remember when the natural ballers? Yeah. The AU team? So yeah. you came to. That day, you came to AU tryouts. And then went <laughs> home and slept with your mom and dad. <laughs> now nah, you crazy, bro. I, ain't gonna... I think I can't remember. I, my mom knows for sure. I don't know. She nah, got to. I was definitely done me. by like. I was scared. Two thousand and two thousand and five or six. nah five six. I couldn't sleep. By I my had house. my own room, bro. You have your own room too, bro. I did. You didn't even have a sister yet, bro. No, I did. When I moved here, Libby was born already. But Libby lived. She stayed with my parents. But yeah, like she, she was, was a baby, bro. Yeah, but like you know. When shit go, bro, of I was that scared. That's why you're afraid of the dark. Yeah, that's what. Hey, I, you're not afraid of the actual darkness. You're afraid of what's in the dark. No. But now I've I've come to realize I'm not scared no more because like I'm always I'm always trained to go. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm <laughs> always born ready. Take like I'm always like I, I be like I be like when I leave from J, when I drop J off and go back home and be like you three be o'clock te- in the morning. You be petrified? No, I'm be <laughs> I'm be scared. Oh I'll be, <laughs> be scared. I'll be walking out. I'm like, yo, like what if like a like a shadowy figure just pulled up at the end of the street and ready to kill me. Like, I got to be ready to go out. Not go out. Like, go out. <laughs> like I got to be ready for everything, bro. Like, I, like if a nigga pulled up in my room like a demon, like, what am I going to do? Lie. In Union, New Jersey, I feel the safest I can be. <laughs> like, you can, in the middle, it could be 4 a.m. And you can put me in any neighborhood in Union. Maybe not the hall. Yeah. But you can put me in any neighborhood in Union. Eh, Low-key the hall, too. But... And I feel good. I know. Like I can cool. lay down in the grass and shit. I'm cool, but you got to be prepared for anything. You know what I'm saying? You got to be ready for if a nigga... Like, nah, I ain't going to lie. The, the one thing I'd be like... like especially, I'd be watching like a lot of doppelganger shit. Like, imagine like I had a doppelganger and he found me. And he like he his main goal in life is to kill me. And, like, imagine he found me and like he's like at the edge of the street like, yo, like it's time for you to die. Nah, I got to kill this nigga now. Or he's going to take my life. Like, take my whole so life that I worked hard. 
So I can't let him take my life, bro. Smooth Gio. Type shit. If Smooth Gio pulled up, like I gotta kill you. I gotta kill you. I gotta kill you cause you doing too much. He can't take. He can't take the life I just built. Like <laughs> I worked hard for this shit. Like I, I got. This shit. Like I see him. I'm not even gonna be scared. I'm like, alright, nah, bro. You're od. We go. <laughs> nah, you're od, bro. The dark, bro. <laughs> the darkness, bro. Tell me, who'd you sleep with when we went to um, Maryland, uh, ECAC? So your sophomore year. Um. Corey. Corey. Yeah, it was me and Corey. What about Chase's? Damn, scene? that was a great room. Me and Corey. Yeah, that's buzzing. What uh, about I was with Jay Sean, but what about, <laughs> what about uh, Junior? I think I was with Corey. I was always with Corey. Every year, mm, I was always with Corey. Chase's final year, I was with Corey. And I remember because it was me, Corey, and Quincy Dante, the only niggas in the same. Quincy and Dante were in the same room, but like every time, yeah, they, it was always me and Corey. Like I remember when, like my freshman year, when we went to what about Oregon. Oh, you were with Corey too? Nah, Corey. Corey couldn't go. He, he did bad I in class. I remember he did bad. Yeah, so it was me. It was me, KB, and uh, this nigga named Johnson. He was another nigga that he made the team. Like I ain't gonna lie, he, he nigga six five, African. I kind of bitched that nigga. Oh. Nah, cause KB, KB, you know KB big as shit. KB yeah. was like, "Yo, I'm a senior. I'm taking the bed. I'm like, yeah. I don't care. I'm not fighting you for the bed. Yeah, you got it. I'm like Johnson. You gonna sleep on the cot? <laughs> so he slept on the cot. I don't think he's ever gonna watch this. You know you're my guy. Yeah, you yeah, watch this, but I, and I slept on like the pullout couch. Damn. He's six five. He a big dude. The cop might have been more comfy though. I don't know. He didn't look like, comfortable. He, he looked. He looked better. Yeah, he looked kind of sad in that motherfucker. Like, he looked like he was. It was too small for him. For real. Oh, he's a big dude. Yeah. What about um? We went up to Massachusetts for the tip off tournament. Oh, um, my first ever start. Oh, uh, actually, was, that was my first. Episode. Was that your sophomore year? Sophomore, year, my sophomore year. Was uh, if if, played nah, if if Corey was there, I was I was room with Corey. Corey was there. Or no 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 no, I was with Chim. I was with Chim. Oh shit! I remember I was with Chim. I was with Chim that one. Yes yes. yes. I, I I remember that was when I was with Chim that one. Damn. But you got anything else you want to say, brother? Nah, bro. You need to grow up, bro. <laughs> Shout out to y'all for tuning into another episode of No Regrets Podcast. Episode yeah. number 101 of season two. New stuff coming. This is what I'm talking about. Tyrone said you don't believe it. Like he, he, he's protected by God with the demons. We got some ghost adventures for y'all. Oh, they don't Tyrone's even know be about that. We got a lot they of shit. They don't even know about that. We got that. a lot of shit for Halloween. They don't even know about Patreon, that. Patreon, we got some more bonus podcasts coming up once a month. We got some bonus podcasts. We're going to have a... We're going to try to do a bonus podcast at least once a month and a bonus game once a month. We're going to try we're going to see how that goes. We don't know how it's going to happen. Shout out to everybody on Patreon, though. I'm going to write all y'all names down. I know Samaya Jones, Escanova, and there's a one more. I forgot what the other one is. I'm really sorry. Doing bad, I'm doing bro. really bad. We're going to shout out y'all names in the beginning for everybody that's on the Patreon. If you're new to, if you're new to the just channel, subscribe down below. Or I said before, you want to repeat it? I'm not going to do it twice. No, you tweak. Yeah, I did. I'm sorry. I'm not going to say it. I was you kidding, should. by the way. If you got to the end of the video, I was kidding. But, you know, subscribe. No. Like the video. I didn't say like the video. Like, not chill. Like the video. <laughs> subscribe to the Patreon if you want some new bonus content. We also got the bonus content out on all listening platforms. So if you want to listen to that, listen to Tyrone, UJ, Jason talk about some random shit about, yeah, that shit's on the air, Tyrone. Damn, man. It was type, stupid. Type shit. But yeah, we different than regular. No regulars, man. Gangsta. Regular, regular.